All right, hello everybody. We are here tonight. Uh, apologies for the short little delay. Uh, Challenge crashed on us right as we uh, started the bracket. Um, but I, we are here tonight uh, for Boston Blue Beat, uh, our regularly scheduled uh, event. We're running Guilty Gear XX Accent Core Plus R again this week in preparation for Boston Blue Beat Neo. Uh, which is our big event. We've got a uh, Matcherino. I think we currently have about 200 something, uh, maybe a little more once once somebody gets paid, um, who will not be named. Uh, you know, a little more in that pot. It's going to be really. Ex I'm really stoked for it. We've got a huge bracket already for that. We've got a huge bracket tonight. Um, so if you want to sign up for Neo, uh, you can just go to guiltygear.rocks. So that'll take you right there to that challenge page. Um, but for now, I'm going to throw it over to the commentators, uh, Swell and Tails. Hey everybody, my name is Swell, I'm here with Tails. Tails, how are you doing this evening? I'm doing great. We've got a great Guilty Gear uh, event coming up soon, or right now. <laughs> yeah, it's going down right now. We got our first match on deck here. Just uh, get this rolling in just a moment. And I'm really excited to commentate Guilty Gear, my first time doing it with the Boston Blue Beat crew. And uh, you're one of the mainstays of this crew, been around for a while, right? I have been. I've been in the Massachusetts fighting game scene since uh, about Calamity Trigger's release. Yo, damn, the ancient lore. <laughs> <laughs> all right so do you know anything about these two players they both have c in the name that's all i know <laughs> uh, i do not know anything about either of these players so this will be exciting for everyone all right yeah let's get some uh, new new blood on the stream here find out who these people are playing and uh yeah it should be an exciting match hopefully <laughs> we should be. all right Ooh, so let's we've get got down an order soul and a faust order soul and a faust spicy okay so faust we got the RNG, Order Soul, we got the levels. Uh, I've not fought a ton of Order Soul, but a little bit that I have, I got blown up and it was kind of rough. <laughs> ah, uh, yeah, Order Soul is a uh, very fast, short-ranged uh, rushdown character. He seems to be picking up a lot of popularity with uh, mm -hmm. Plusar's recent resurgence. Oh, got a bomb out the gate. Yeah, but... if you play in... Ooh, bomb out the gate, but not much to come out of it. And uh, Faust is kind of setting up his game, just sitting full screen, mm -hmm. oh, gets, a, gets a throw. And what do we got? We and got a donut. Undersea magic on the, yeah, that's Undersea Magic there on the Faust. We got Seas of Cheese on Order Soul here. Ooh, nice. I like. I love that uh, air Ooh, and drill another it has bomb. there. He can FRC out of the two. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> oh, <Faust> <laughs> <definitely> <laughs> <missed> what happened <laughs> there? Misinputted somewhere and just kind of drilled out into the distance. <laughs> yeah, just drilling into the heavens there. This game really is anime, huh? All right. <laughs> I love this. Uh, the progenitor of anime, even. Right. I, I love this uh, Faust color, too. Uh, looks pretty neat there. Do the different food items have different properties when you pick them up, or do they all work roughly the same? Uh, I know that they do in Exert. I actually do not know if there are different food items in uh, oh, Plus R. Okay, nice. Oh, okay. We got Season Cheese here with some pressure in the corner here. Grants you to get a scoop yep, here. Uh, so, Order Soul has a very good throw. It wall sticks on hit, so uh, if he can land one of those in the corner, he'll get a mm. full combo off of it. Gotcha, so if he had got the throw in the other direction, that would have worked out. But Undersea takes it. Yep, but Faust takes the first round with his airbag. <laughs> oh, nice weird trade there at the top of it. Get a hammer on deck there, bouncing around. Got that exploding head, which hurts Faust too, which is a, a wild tool, but I love it. It does, and we've got a mini Faust that is uh, kind of stopping Order Soul's approach. Faust, uh, definitely the zoner in this matchup. He's, his buttons cover most of the screen, and he just kind of wants to sit <laughs> back and chip at order soul to keep him out uh yeah. order soul Ooh, got is, stuff there with that uh, into the or the the stabby grab into the, whatever that yep. chop is called there Ooh, Technics. and order soul is currently poisoned which oh. uh will tick down his health and ignores guts which is <laughs> very big the bomb after the <laughs> and explosion we get the bomb. Fixed up. oh and the poison ignores magic takes the first game the poison it ignores does. Uh, so it guts? actually does purport yeah so it does proportionally more damage on high guts characters that's really cool. There's a couple of characters that have a similar mechanic in other games, but I didn't know that the poison that Faust has works like that in this one. Uh, rad stuff. We'll have to see if Seas of Cheese can make an adjustment here after uh, Undersea Magic. Like you said, just zoned out and just took control of the screen because Order Soul doesn't have a whole lot to try to cross the screen quickly until he gets his levels up, right? No, yeah, he's he's very plus on block. Uh, he can actually go into the mm -hmm. action charge and cancel it immediately uh, yeah. to make basically anything plus, but his normals are very, very stubby, so it is hard for him to get in the first time. Oh, and we get a bomb that blows up both of them. Actually, advantageous for uh, Order Soul there. Yeah, that actually worked out uh, uh, more oh, and so another bomb. Ooh, and Undersea Magic keeps hitting himself with the bombs. 
You know what though? I feel like as a Faust player though, this person's probably thrilled to have that. Just like, <laughs> seems like that's the mentality of Faust players. No judgment, just kind of my, my observation here. <laughs> Throwing out items, having a good time, doesn't Whoa. matter what happens. Ooh, I love that Roman Cancel. Bomb. Yeah, that, and I love that Roman Cancel <laughs> off the air drill as well to keep it uh, safe there earlier. Use the use of the burst there. Oh, what's coming down here? We got Robokai. Oh, we've got many Robokai. We've got the doors, and Robokai picks up uh, Undersea Magic currently with the health lead again. Yeah, trade off that head explosion. Yeah, it seems to be working out, though. Like, just keeping it messy and not letting Ordersol be able to get up the pressure game and get started seems to be working out in Undersea Magic's favor. Oh, uh, for oh. bedpan, I didn't see it come down. Oh, yeah, I was surprised it didn't Undersea come down. Magic too. now. One huh. round away from uh, taking our first game of the night. Yeah, Caesar Cheese here might be uh, having some trouble here dealing with Faust. So it's a really weird matchup, especially if you don't have a ton of experience against it, just because Faust covers the angles you might not expect, and then, of course, all the item RNG as well. Very much a character where you have to find a way to control the chaos of the situation, and if you can't get in and instill those plus frames with Order Soul, seems like that's a hard, uh, or tall order, rather. Absolutely. And Faust is uh, quite good oh, in this go, game. Though. Yeah, getting in here. Oh, oh no, gets clipped by the door. Oh, the but corner. the force break door. Uh, and there we've got Faust 6H, a very slow overhead that uh, every single American player will get hit by, however. Yes, absolutely. It's unblockable, but very reactable, and yet still. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, no, the dizzies. Oh, and we got the dizzy, and there we have it. Undersea Magic is the winner of the first game of our event tonight. Yeah, Undersea Magic uh, takes the first game. However, Seas of Cheese uh, is still alive in the lower half of the bracket, so we'll see if they're able to make something happen and get back in here. But for now, uh, they are sent to the lower half, and we'll see who they have to face coming up next here. Oh, and Undersea Magic looks like they'll be facing our very own Tails here. I'm not sure if we're going to see that match right away or if we're going to wait for that for a minute. But yeah. I was a... I really All like right, watching so that matchup too, though. Keep commentating and not playing right now. All right, looks like we got Michael Dink and Flack Maniac coming up. Do you know either one of these players? Uh, yeah, both of them are locals. Flack has been really grinding since uh, since Plus R came out. He is another Order Soul player, so we will get nice. to see some more Order Soul. All right. Oh sure. All right, so we got oh, Order, that thing. Order Soul going up against Kai here. And we got Michael Dink on Kai, and we got Flack Maniac on Order Soul. Yeah. All right. Jay, so we'll stepping in quickly here for Tails as well, so. Yeah, come on in. Yeah. So we, Kai here going to be able to use some fireballs and uh, has for any kind of keep away, if that's an option here at all. We'll see mm -hmm. how this one plays out here. Yep. In the slide there. Wow, that normal couldn't catch out the slide on it for a punish? So both of these players also, interestingly enough, are, have, are playing different characters in uh, Plus R than they normally do in Eggbird. Mm. So Dink is traditionally a Slayer player and Flack was a Sin player. Um, obviously Sin not a character that you can play in this game, but kind of that hyper-aggressive punishing style I think mm -hmm. is something that Flack sticks really well to and I think plays really well into how he likes to play with Order Soul. And you still have that meter, so you still have to manage that mm -hmm. additional resource, kind of like how Sin has to manage his food. So it's a familiar right, right. thing for him. Um, I'm mostly shocked by Dink's decision to switch to Kai. A complete polar opposite from Slayer, right? Um, gotcha. Oh, I like that uh, RC after the uh, Ride the Lightning, though, to keep that safe. Yeah. And yeah, play Slayer normally? Complete yeah. opposite. Mm -hmm. Oh, close to round end here for Michael Dink and no meter, and just gets stuffed with the normal there. First round goes to Flak Maniac. Clip with the air normal there, not too much action off of it, though. Side jockeying for position here, scores the knockdown. Yep. Oh, run up, baits out the DP. Mm -hmm. Nice punish. Very nice. Yep. Gets up that Oki, he's gonna push him all the way to the corner. Nice, I love that, uh, that's, what is it? Do, do, do we call those sigils in this game? Uh, it's, um, uh, it's, uh, it's force break, we can call it sigil, we call force break sigil. Um, okay, cool, yeah. Yeah, it's, mm. it's, oh no, you can block that oh. with rollback. Reed Sever, no longer unblockable. Right? It feels so nice. <laughs> Nice, Flack Maniac here getting this pressure going. Yeah, I'm not great. sure if Michael Dink doesn't know where the gaps are, or if the pressure is just that severe from Flack. Oh! Oh, could it I got caught with a bad combo there, didn't quite get the tech. Gets a throw into the corner here, the shh. Takes the Oki there, nice fireball, keeping all those plus frames. Forcing in, nice RC, that pressure string was so long! Good use of resources. That 6H is just, it's it's so powerful that Kai has. It's so, oh no, doesn't get an actual- Ooh. Ooh. Steals the burst though. 
Oh, we're getting pushed back here at the mid-screen. Flax, Flax hanging on a death door here. That guard grade just cranked, where well, risque just cranked way up. But Michael Dink's able to slide in low there and takes it. Order Soul 2, uh, you may notice, has that really low, uh, for anybody who's not familiar with this, I'm still learning how to fight this character, so I gotta say it for myself, but has that really <laughs> low jump arc, so it makes his air throws a little bit more threatening uh, than you might expect otherwise, mm -hmm. and uh, can combo off the air throws as well if in the right position for it. However, that not that doesn't matter here, getting slapped up against the wall. Oh, gets scooped. Wall stick. Ooh, doesn't not close enough to get a combo after the wall stick, though. Fireball's out of the screen there. Mm -hmm. Both sides push into the... Ooh. Flax got the corner pressure pushed oh, in here. There he goes. Someone knows the gaps. Charge stun edge there. Push back in the corner. Ooh, advances out now. Gets another throw there after landing. Charging up. Get some levels. We got level three on deck here. Builds See those, how it's used. Yep. He built those pretty fast, and you know, unfortunately, you just kind of let us kind of sat and let him do it. Kind of that hard thing to react to, you know. Mm -hmm. What's more, that's the uh, the power of the characters who... Oh, oh, screen froze for me. We get a desync. Screen froze for me, too. We might have a desync. Unfortunate. I hope that didn't happen to the players, because that was a really close match there. Yeah, it's, that's... Let's see. We're still... we're still. I'm still frozen, so we'll, we'll see where it goes. Yeah. Well, unfortunate, but... Uh, based off the situation, it's a pretty cool freeze frame, though. As you can see how close <laughs> this is here as well. Uh, the uh oh it crashed. Yeah, I just got the crash as well. We'll get back up in here, and once we get these technical difficulties sorted. Apologies. Sorry for the delay, folks. Yep, Things we, happen. We did we did see something along those lines happen last time, too. Oh, I hit... Uh, I changed their names on one thing, but I didn't change it on the actual stream. I apologize, folks. Uh, let me get this back up. And then I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Let's do a... Uh, I'll create a, uh, a pop-out, and we'll stream it through Discord. Okay, uh, we'll to do keep, it that to way. Keep, keep less people in lobbies. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Apologies all, uh, we'll, we'll get the set right back up. Uh, Thank you for bearing with us. This is Boston Blueby. Holding it down here for the n New England scene, or, yeah, New England scene. Yeah, New England, we're, we're I mean, the, the joy of, um, the joy mm -hmm. of the, I guess, the modern, uh, current, uh, rollback situation that we have is that, you know, we can definitely pull people from the Midwest, from, from other areas, mm -hmm. and we don't have to worry about a delay or anything along those lines. Um, absolutely. All right. So yeah, get the action back up here. Checking in with the players. Uh, so what the players know. Uh... All right, yeah, player, we're sorting it out with the players right now. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll get this back up and running, folks. Mm -hmm. So sorry for the mishap, but things happen. Beta things. But at least we have nice quality gameplay, and the lobbies are just getting more stable. This is definitely more stable than it was like a month ago when this first started. So oh my gosh, yeah. can't complain too much. And I, I would like to give a huge shout out to the dev team that's been working on this. Um, some of them are, mm -hmm. are in this are in this chat. Um, we were actually just having a, a conversation um, earlier with. Oh wow, let me pull up because I totally forgot their name and I don't want to get it wrong. Uh, with Lulu Lowen, um, and and it's really cool to see you know how the how the scene is. Uh, everyone's doing everyone else a solid in this situation. It's really nice to see. So we've got both our players back. Um, they, uh, have, they're they both going to just let the other person take a round and then play the third round out. Yeah, since uh, in this game the meter doesn't carry over between rounds compared to some other games, we can just let that happen. Both yep. sides will have burst when the third round starts, and that'll be that, and then we'll get back to it. As close to even circumstances as we can get there. And this will be with Michael Dink and Flak Maniac. Mm -hmm. Flak Maniac on the Order Soul, Michael Dink on the Kai. And we'll see how they decide to close these, these rounds out quickly against one another. <laughs> well, Flak has said that he... Uh, okay, and uh, Sweller, you're, you're all good for uh, for visuals oh, right yeah. now? Yep, I can. Okay. I got you on the Discord here. We are good awesome. to go. Awesome. Oh, sweet, we can just do instant kills. Sick! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> well... Well, let's let's walk it back because Flax said I K me once and then I'll kill you once. So I think he's about ah. to. <laughs> <laughs> Although I again, you know, I I am fairly new. I would imagine that it's possible. I think uh, that Order Soul requires a certain uh, has uh, special instant kill conditions. And in fact, I'm almost certain that's true. However, yes. here we go. This is the real back, deal. Back to the action here. Let's go. This All right, so we got Michael Dink here controlling the early pressure in the game, mm -hmm. forcing Flack Maniac back into the corner. Yep, and uh. Oh, hit with, hit with that cross-up jump button there. I'm trying to follow up the pressure. Cat with the DP. Is that a 
Was that an action cancel in the air there to make that safe, or was that an FRC? Uh, might have been. I think uh, that was. I have to take another another quick look see, but all right. Huh. Oh, nice. There you go. There's the cancel. Oh, thanks for the shout about uh, Order Soul's uh, instant kill not working normal. Mm -hmm. Appreciate that, chat. Wow, forcing the corner. Oh, fights out of the corner, Michael Dink does. Oh, eats that. What is I'm guessing that moves an overhead there. Oh, catches the throw, pushed in the corner here. Gets the seal on wake up there for some plus frames into another throw with the next going to be here. Was that using the dust to purposely get some frame kill to set up a situation, I'm guessing? Because that's the second time we've seen that used. Catches another throw. These, that's four throws in the past, like, ten seconds from Michael Dink there. Jeez. And Dink takes and worked game out one, too. huh? Yeah, it works out for him. Definitely, that's for sure. Yeah. And throws in this game. I love throws in this game, too. They're so fast. Prox throws that are that fast and you can get value off of them. Love it. All right. Getting into it here. What's action, action going to be? Michael Dink up a game. And Flak Maniac was holding her own there too. So it's not like this is completely out of the realm for uh, Flak Maniac to be able to come back and make something happen here. Yep. Yeah, Flak's, Flak did really well in our in our last bracket too. And as, as mm -hmm. you know, Tails pointed out earlier, it's been on a, a really strong grind. Um, is definitely a, a definitely a big lab monster. Um, you know, oh, lo cool. Lo loves to do loves to do research, loves to find out, you know, what's safe, what's not safe, you know. Um, it's one of those people you can go to, you know, back in the day at Locals, if I ever had a question about, you know, mm -hmm. like, oh, I don't know if this is a good choice or I don't know if this is a bad choice, you know, I could go to Flack and Flack say, okay, you probably shouldn't do this or you probably should do this. And, like, yeah, the, I don't mm -hmm. always take advice because like, I'm a jam knowledge. player, but, like, you know, like, mm -hmm. sometimes I just want to press buttons anyway, but you know, who knows whether I should or should not. I'm yeah, showing it right now. Yeah, gets uh, stuffed by the Ride the Lightning there, but had really yeah. good momentum going before that. And uh, somebody pointed out, too, in the stream here, I think we got the name swapped there. Uh, oh. oh, did yeah, they, they They flipped sides after the, the thing? Yeah. I think so. Yep. All right, there. So name swapped back into order there. And yeah, like, uh, ooh, hang on on Death's Door here. Make, can't take any chip. Got to be using that FD if any specials come out here. Catches with the Greed Sever. Ooh, not able to get anything out of it, though. Not into a conversion or anything. Stuck at low health here. Oh, ooh, baits the first out and gets caught with the stun the edge. Bait. Oh, oh so hello, I'm back. <laughs> Tails is back, and I can go back on hello, mute and Tails. work on running a tournament. Bye! Bye! <laughs> Bye. Alright, so it looks like Dink is up uh, one game. How's the match been so far? Uh, we had a DC, but we are back in action now. It's been very close matches, uh, in fact. Dink's been able to edge it out just a little bit over Flak, but Flak's been able to get uh, momentum going, but just hasn't been able to close it out. And here, I think, might be seeing some... Um, falter in the confidence here because or that or michael dink has figured something out because that's a big life discrepancy and that is a, a big life for you. you don't oh and, Fl and flack is down again you do not want to see this yeah very unfortunate and dink has been on point with catching so many throws too but didn't even need to throw there to close it out and michael dink takes it over flack maniac question was the dc right uh right when the match started uh, no, it was towards the end of the match. Okay, so it was not when I left the lobby. I was a little <laughs> worried about that, as that has, was not a, a problem in past versions of this beta. Yes, no, it was not from when you left the lobby. Um, it was towards the end of the match, and then it just happened to go down for some reason. But yeah, uh, so Michael Dink took that one. Flak Maniac sent to the lower half of the bracket. We'll see them again soon. But for now... We have Michael Dink advancing. He'll be fighting the winner of Nuclear Cheese and Silverbird, whenever that goes down. That's two players with cheese in the name as well. Is there a, is there a theme I don't know about going on here? <laughs> uh, Nuclear Cheese has been using that handle as, uh, for the many years I've known him, so I doubt it is, or so my assumption is it's a coincidence. <laughs> okay, gotcha. I'm going to be real honest. When I when this bracket was first like automatically seeded, when people were signing up, Nuclear Cheese was up against Seas of Cheese round one, and I was really tempted to just leave it that way. Uh, so, <laughs> although I assume Seas of Cheese is a is a reference to a uh, to the Primus album, um, and they can confirm for us whether or not that's true if they want. But oh, nice! I didn't even catch that. Nice reference though. There, shout out to Primus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, I should probably join this lobby. That uh. Uh, you can also uh, the the video should be shared via Discord. So we are waiting on who's up. Yeah, next? we're doing we're doing the Discord screen share to avoid oh, having multiple and users. Then I will in. not do that. Yeah. <laughs> so we're waiting although, did, although the Discord screen share doesn't seem to be giving me volume. Not sure if that's a me thing or a or the screen share thing. But I'll survive. Uh, let me see if I can figure it out. Yeah, I can still hear you all though, so it's all going great. Excellent. And I can still see all of you all in chat. Thank you for joining us, folks, and thank you for sticking with us here after that brief technical difficulty. 
There is that Hope plus, you are enjoying the tournaments. There is that plus side where uh, it, even if you, you can't hear the audio or anything like that, uh, you, you don't have to worry. Then you don't have to worry about Order Storm blowing out your speakers. Uh, <laughs> so it's like a secret a secret blessing that if anybody happens to be playing regular Soul and does Tyrant Rave, like mm -hmm. you don't have to go buy <laughs> a new set of headphones or something like that because like somebody decided to just <laughs> like punch uh, him right in the face. The downside to old Arxis games. I, <laughs> I, I remember many a speaker being blown out by uh, by Rachel's lightning or uh, heaven forbid Bang ever using Farin Kazan. <laughs> oh, is that the one where it changes the to his theme? Mm -hmm. In uh, just it. in just CT, it was substantially louder than it is in any other version of the game, and it would just blow everyone's speakers out. They had to lower the volume. <laughs> uh, I, I don't. You know, I like the, I love the idea of trying to put the. Interesting ways to mix stuff, but whew, that's rough. Yeah, yeah. It's really I um I got really into uh, Exerd uh, music uh, modding uh, for a while. Still, it's still it's still fun. Um, but it's really funny if you pull out the uh, the AUG files and then you throw them into Audacity or whatever. The waveforms just look they're just like Bleh! they're just totally squashed. It's just a full <laughs> line of blue. It's very sad. Um, uh, JMD, would you like me to play my next match uh, now, or should I wait? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have you and Sandman play on stream. Okay. Mm -hmm. My only uh, foray into uh, gear uh, music modding so far was putting uh, Mariah Carey's All I Want for Christmas uh, just to see if I could and make sure I could figure it out. That's been nice. <laughs> <laughs> goes well, goes surprisingly well together. I, um, somebody, uh, Somebody uh, in a different Discord I was in made a joke about how, like, uh, Gun by Churches should be the official theme of Jam, and I, like, on a whim, immediately swapped it in. Forgot that I had done that for, like, a solid two <laughs> weeks, fired up Exert again, and somehow got it. I was like, why is Gun in this game? <laughs> Yo, I respect it, though. I respect it, though. <laughs> Alright. Uh, Alright, and now we have... I Let's don't think it. this is Flak first. Dink. Yeah, we can get those, gotta get those names updated, but our third Order Soul of the night. Ah, the uh, the alleged Order Soul army that you hear everyone talking about seems to be in full swing in this event. Oh, unfortunate, another dis another disconnect. Tragic. Man, these lobbies do not like us running tournaments. Well, they just pushed another update um, today, I think. Ah, or, that or would day do it. Before, either just today or yesterday, so that might be... Um, What's causing stuff? So how long have you been playing Marvel? How long have you been playing fighting games? Oh, fighting games? Uh, I've been playing them since uh, before I <laughs> Very long time. Uh, I grew up going to arcades and stuff like that back when, like, like, I don't know, I was around, like, as versions of Street Fighter 2 were coming out without dating Ooh. myself too much. Uh, <laughs> but I didn't, I didn't play them, like, super competitively or, like, trying to get, like, into them into them until around the time Marvel 3 came out. Uh, Marvel 2 was my favorite to play in the arcades. Uh, like, I didn't know what was proper to do and occasionally i'd see somebody come in who could do like a rom combo with magneto and i'm like oh okay that's how it works but i didn't have, <laughs> I didn't have anybody to show me how to do it though uh but because of that also that's why i'm very very welcoming of the um the bs that exists in guilty gear because like i'm used to just like oh cool people are opening me up with magneto tri dashes and i don't understand how this works but i guess this is just fighting games okay <laughs> This is what's happening now. Yeah, this is this is life. Okay, uh, <laughs> but yeah, then uh, when Marvel Three came out, I um, dove uh, headfirst into things uh, there and uh, been playing on the regular since. And with gear, I bounced off of gear a couple times when I tried to get into it. I played it like casually with some friends, just like um, not like we were playing super serious, but just somebody had it on their 360, so we were like, oh, let's try it out. Uh, and then. Uh, played Exert a little bit when I was in North Carolina with some of the anime folks there. Uh, and then with this rollback patch, I dove hard in with Venom, and I've really been enjoying it with Venom. So if Venom shows up, I can talk about this game. <laughs> Venom is, uh, in my opinion, the coolest fighting game character that exists. He's uh, so cool! However, I'm too dumb to play him. <laughs> That's okay, you need a very large brain to do uh, the same set play three times in a row. You need an <laughs> enormous brain. <laughs> Uh, I mean, as an Anji player, my set play is throw a butterfly, high or low, and that's it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah, okay, cool. Looks like we have a game coming up now here. Uh, we got Crazy Master Hand going up against Fireworks. That's Testament going up against Order Soul, and I hope these names are correct here. Fingers oh, crossed. and we get another DC. What is going on? Hmm. A 
unfortunate, but yeah, so it goes. Because I would, it would be very exciting to see some testament because uh, that character is very interesting and not an exert. We'll give it one. More, yeah, we'll give it a shot. Recreating. Also, Nova Knox, that is entirely correct. Uh, I didn't know that Sentinel was, like, the best character in the game in Marvel 2. Uh, I just got... Um, I just realized that I couldn't figure out how to fight Magneto, so I figured, all right, I'll just go fly and get above him and mash light kick. And then it turns out that that's actually good. I didn't know. <laughs> but yeah, that was my Marvel 2 experience in the arcades. <laughs> but my, of course, my main team was Hayato, if I was really wanting to play. <laughs> Ooh, when I played Marvel 2 in the arcades when I was uh, a child and didn't know what was good, I just played Juggernaut because he was big, and Juggernaut Punch did a lot of damage. Yeah, not not a bad strat. Not a bad strat. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, though, uh, that been, I, so I've been playing games for ages, though, and um, I'm like, if you make me play a game with, like, actual, like, fundamentals involved, though, I kind of fall apart. Like, if I had to play Street Fighter, I'm ready. Yeah, what are fundamentals? I've played ST. That game is nonsense. <laughs> I got messed. <laughs> you see, with, with ST, I can do okay, but with like Street Fighter yeah. 4 or Street Fighter 3, I have trouble. That's but, fair. Uh, I but, play yeah, Boxer in the... ST. There is nothing fair about oh, that geez. video game. <laughs> <laughs> All right, looks like we got some action here. Yeah, so looks we got... like we've got a match. So we've got uh, Crazy Master Hand on Test members. Fireworks on Order Soul. We've seen Order Soul twice tonight, but uh, Testament is new. Testament is generally considered to be the best character in this video game. Mm -hmm. Extremely strong. So if you are also new to learning uh, Guilty Gear, uh, Testament's got traps you can put out on the screen, as well as has that uh, EXE Beast, which can set up some various uh, mix-ups and pressure strings. And the traps, the net one, stays out even when he gets hit. That key super there, notice he's got the dolls on, on over his meter bar now. The dolls upgrade some of the, I believe it's the curse specials, or does it upgrade uh, all the no, traps they, as well? They upgrade the, uh, the traps, they make uh, you see that right there, the net that yeah. he set up has a skeleton mm -hmm. on it. It it makes your opponent uh it, or puts your opponent in an untackable state for around sixty frames and Ooh. the tree and the trees are about twice as tall and poison your opponent on hit. Wow, uh, that's that's nasty. <laughs> uh and if that wasn't enough, Testament also has a curse that he can set, uh that will make his his little bird familiar there do yes. one of four patterns of attacks one of the attacks uh is importantly an overhead so testament can get unblockables off of that yeah i've seen the curse stuff go off before that's really good there i just didn't always understand how the doll upgrades worked hey order soul and takes a round let's go fireworks order soul takes the first round yo aggro craig i'm dying here that was really good <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so Fireworks here got this pressure here, cranking up that risk uh, risk gauge there. Nice, uh, Air String. Doesn't quite get a knockdown out of it, but still is able to control the situation here. But he is now pushing Testament in the corner, and that is exactly where he wants Testament to be. Mm -hmm. Oh no, gets snagged by the net. Uh, Crazy Master Hand not able to convert it into a combo, though. Gets the EXE Beast set up here, keeping up with that pressure. Gets another net place there. Oh, and you, and you see Testament sets up those nets to cover... Uh, or uh, to cover the space around him. Hoss, Hoss uh, mixed him up and went behind him, but got hit by a net. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that the red, red uh, grid there that was on Hoss for a second there, that's the sign that the curse is applied. Yep, uh, a, an, or a new move that Testament got from Accent Core 2 Plus R is a force break version of the curse that will home in on your opponent and curse them even on block. Oh, nice. That's really good. Pushed mm -hmm. to the corner here, though. Almost out of meter from FDing as well. Does have burst available. Going to be able to set up some pressure here. Oh, oh no. Fireworks doesn't have burst. Kill. And yes, Crazy Master Hand with less than 10% life manages to, uh, to, take, uh, to take a round. We're now 1-1 one, one in rounds. That net's still caught out there. I cannot believe it. It's really good. Uh, <laughs> so, yep. <laughs> I see someone asking in chat here. So the nets stay out even on trade. Um, the trees will go away if he gets hit, I believe. But if they go active while he's getting hit, they can trade in his favor. Um, the traps just do a really good job of controlling the space and uh, setting up for combos as well. Oh, there's the poison on the tree like you were talking about earlier. Yep, uh, and you it went by really fast, so you may have missed it. But uh, the tree does re-OTG if, if someone is knocked down into it. Yo, that's so sick. Yep. Crazy Master Hand here seems to have figured this out and been able to get the, the appropriate pressure up. However, oh no, bursts off. Fireworks pushing into the corner here. Gets the jump string in, having to FD through all of this, staying on top. Ooh, Crazy Master Hand just needs one hit to take the first game. And oh, there it should be, but it doesn't quite kill. Uh, but the 2K kills him. That's able to close it out there. Now, um, 
that move with the big the big circular swing of the scythe that's the that's called badlands right uh yes that is badlands that is a new move that he ga gained in accent core and it is fundamental to his combo game i looked away yeah, for two so, seconds who won uh, uh, that was crazy after him. and then i think the names need to be swapped yeah, they uh, they they change side on rematch. Um, oh yes, because that is yep. That's how this lobby works now. The devil's work. Oh, and fireworks swapping to Biken, another very strong character in this video game. Nice. So Biken, for anybody who does not know, can do stuff out of block stun. That's one of her main tools. That and that tatami mat. Yep, tatami mat covers a lot of space and uh, generally leads to combos. And she has special moves she can do only during block stun or when she is doing her command run. Yeah. And I wonder how that's that's interesting that hmm. Sorry, I was like thinking about how that could interact with traps that she might like purposefully activate with the command run and then try to do a move out of it or something like that. Yep. Uh Biken also one of the few characters with guts five in this game. Uh so poison should be very effective against her. Oh really? So she's got one of the highest guts ratings, so it makes it really hard to finish off. Neat. Yep, it is Biken, uh Justice and Anji. Uh Justice oh. gets it for being a boss character, and Anji and Biken get it for being Japanese. Sure, why not? Uh, well, they both There's some Anji. actual Guilty Gear lore for you. <laughs> oh, wait, that's, that's actual? That's yeah, actual that is, the lore uh, reason? Oh, yes. Uh, so in Guilty Gear, uh, Japanese uh, Japanese people have magic, which no one else has. All right, cool. Oh, nice. I love that that sword spin there. I forget which button that's on, but that gives her uh, nice plus frames afterwards. But uh, yep, That is her crushing heavy, but uh, Testament got a throw. And Testament gets a full combo off throw. Good yeah, version. And can go into the key super as well, which gives those uh, doll upgrades. Yep, and new two plus R. Uh, if he hits you with an air throw, he actually gets one of the doll upgrades. <sighs> nice, just like straight up for getting the air throw. Crazy master yep. hand takes round one. All right, so fireworks seems to be uh, trying to get some momentum going here, but one of the unfortunate things when you try to counterpick or change up who you're playing is if you don't get that early momentum of it, it can really make your opponent feel like they've got you figured out and it can become really hard to fight back from underneath that. Especially in a game like Guilty Gear where uh, character wake-up timings are different. I know I have a lot oh, of yeah. trouble changing uh, characters mid-set because suddenly all my wake-ups are different. Uh, one thing that I love uh, I'm watching here too that seems really good, I'm not sure if this is intentional from Fireworks or if it's just working out, I'm guessing it's maybe a 2k or a 2s, whatever's making Biken's uh, feet kick up a little bit, it seems to be hitting just high enough where it's activating the nets, but not having her get hit by the nets. It worked out a couple of times there, it doesn't look like this round's gonna go their way, but... Wow, was that a punish there? Because I thought that move was fairly oh, hard. Oh, and that was definitely not an IK on purpose. Uh, Crazy Master Hand looking for a way to uh, swap oh, no. out of IK mode. Just out of range of the EX to Tommy, because I, I believe that that would have given a wall bounce as well if it had hit. Yep. Oh, and Crazy mm. Master Hand takes it. The Biken switch was not enough for fireworks. Yeah, I really like the idea of trying to go for... I think that was well played by fireworks, but unfortunately, Crazy Master Hand and uh, their testament just came out a little bit stronger than what uh, fireworks could bring to the table here. And I, I really like the idea of using the EX to Tommy there, even though it didn't quite reach. That was like the smart play, it felt like, as I don't think that Biken has any other option that goes that far that quickly. Absolutely. All right, coming up, we got Silverbird going up against Nuclear Cheese, it looks like. And Nuclear Cheese, you were saying, is somebody who's been around the scene for a while? Yep, Nuclear Cheese has been around since uh, before I was. He also is a very prominent... Champion. Yes, also the champion of last week's uh, Plus R event. Nuclear. So this should be this should be fun. He won over Thello in a, in a pretty close set. All right, love it. So we got the reigning champ going up against Silverbird here. Silverbird's going to have a tall order to try to do some work. Uh, for those of you who've played... Guilty Gear for a long time, you may remember Nuclear Cheese as the man who would shout boom headshot whenever he did Sidewinder loops in tournament. <laughs> that is... <laughs> they're, they're, you know, Tails... I'm gonna Thank keep it a buck. The there, there, are parts of, there are parts of 2005 that, like, as somebody as somebody who was there, you know, like, I, I watched a lot of pure ownage as a child, uh, and it can stay in 2005 sometimes, you know? Like, it's just kind of... Oh, and we've got Soul vs. Order Soul. We will never be freed from Order Soul. We will never be free from Order Soul. <laughs> Order Soul is living in our living in our world rent free. Oh, right. and there's the command throw, and this should lead to the sidewinder loops, but nuclear cheese oh. drops the combo. Uh, Unfortunate. Despite being the main character, Soul is 
Uh, Sol is actually a rather difficult character in this game, as he needs to get clean hits on uh, certain moves of his to get better properties. And yeah. boom, headshot. There it is right there. Caught boom, one, headshot. Caught a second. And so uh, clean hits for anybody not in the know there, just since I know we have a lot of new people watching gear who don't watch it normally, clean hits is, are there. There's a specific spot on the body where if you hit Sidewinder, it stays untackable. Yep. Uh, Sidewinder gets more untackable frames and also does bonus damage based on the number of clean hits that you've gotten in the combo. Yo, uh, I didn't know that part. That's so sick. Oh, yeah. Uh, Grand Viper becomes untackable for many oh, more wow. frames. Oh, wow. This is the perfect. Oh, and do First we get the, the perfect? Not quite there. Oh, uh, we don't get a tiniest bit cheese, of chip. But Nuclear Cheese wins game one rather uh, rather convincingly. Very, very quick, very efficient. Uh, not... Not too much of a surprise here, considering this was our uh, first place winner last week, it sounds like. And I think when uh, the players got swapped there again, so whenever we can. I know you're doing Lord's work out there, JDM. Or JMD, sorry. <laughs> Thank you, JMD. <laughs> It's all good. It's all good. You just made my, uh, what did you say, JDM? You made one of my parents extremely happy. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a there's a Marvel player named JDM, so that's like, I, I'm having to like rewrite brain memory right now. Ah, the mix! <laughs> oh, and we get the Volcanic Viper knockdown. Uh, Soul has the best DP in this game. It is three frames and covers a lot of space. Oh, I feel way less bad about getting blown up by it, knowing that it's the best one in the game. Yep. <laughs> it's really good to know. <laughs> oh! And wake up Tyrant Rave. Tyrant Rave is difficult to punish in this game, but uh, Silverbird manages to do it. Isn't it also, uh, is that, doesn't Soul have a super that is only 25 bar, actually? Or is that Order uh, Soul? He's got, he has a, for, uh, yes, a Force Break super off of his Fafnir. Uh, oh, that's that, what I'm thinking. That's also clean hits. Uh, that is his third clean hit move. Oof. And I believe Fafnir has the same uh, more damage property that Sidewinder has when it clean hits. Nuclear Cheese takes that round again. Silverbird's trying to get some momentum going here, but this is a tall, tall order for Silverbird. Considering how strong Nuclear Cheese is, cheese is and sounds like they've been around for a while, this is uh, no shame on Silverbird's part. Sometimes you just fight a very strong opponent, and it's a rough thing to deal with. But hey, that's why we are. Uh, that's why we have a winners and a losers bracket. So Silverbird Indeed will not be out of the tournament. All right, pushing to the corner here is Silverbird. And Silverbird, uh, there is a DP on Order Soul, but if I recall correctly, it doesn't get really good until... Oh, that's it right there. The Sidewinder loot takes it. it. Nuclear Cheese wins his, uh, wins his match rather quickly. Yeah, and uh, so what I was saying there too before uh, Nuclear Cheese closed that one out there is that Order Soul does have a... I believe Order Soul has a DP, but it doesn't get potent... It doesn't get, get potent until he's at level 2 or 3, right? Yes, it is rather slow until he hits level 2, and when he hits level 3, uh, it actually ground bounces into a combo. Yo, a DP that ground bounces? That's so yeah. sad. That's so sad. I believe it's safe on block uh, level 3 as well, but do not quote me on that. I'm not sure. Sure, sure. Well, that's rad stuff, though. All right, next up we got Teddy Treebark. What's up, Teddy? All right, well, Teddy is not an Order Soul player, so uh, we may be free from the Order Soul army. We're halfway there, gang. We're halfway there. <laughs> All right, yeah. Uh, Teddy Treebark, uh, I've actually never, like, met Teddy Treebark in person, but, like, we have tweeted back and forth, like, once or twice, and I gave them a shout-out one time when I was doing commentary uh, for uh, their friend. So <laughs> it's cool to see Teddy actually play here, uh, and I'm very excited to see, finally. Uh, yeah, plays Milia, uh, as uh, Stream is pointing out here, so we're going to see some Milia action going on, I imagine. And I know Dr. Jimbo, I feel like Dr. Jimbo is Robokai? Uh, I'm not familiar with Dr. Jimbo's name, but that might just be because I am terrible with names. Uh, I got it! I, yeah, you got it! Yeah! Uh, I'm, a, I'm a real gear commentator! I figured it out! <laughs> <laughs> Is it the doctor? I guess people with doctor in their names play RoboKai. No, oh, yeah, you know, maybe it's like, a, it's like a title so that they feel more comfortable <laughs> with it. <laughs> All right, so RoboKai's got that unique bar, unique meter, got the heat system going on. Milia's gonna run, de run you down and get in your face. Yep, Milia wants to knock you down, put a donut on you, and then make you guess high or low. <laughs> Yo, that immediate uh, air missile to call out the dash in, I love it. Mm -hmm. uh, that air missile is his too heavy, so it is actually air unblockable unless you faultless defense. Really? All... Yep, as are all ground normals in Guilty Gear. Sick. All right there. Uh, and so any actions done on the... I believe any actions done on the map build meter, or just standing on the map gives meter? Yep. Uh, standing on the map builds meter, uh, and Ro Robokai actually has a move he can only do while running. Uh, that is that that little taunt where he T-poses that you saw, that if he hits yeah. you, he builds like half of his meter. It's quite strong. 
All right, uh, running out of special bar here and getting a little bit high on the heat gauge here. So, oh, and nice. You saw how oh. long it took for the wake oh. up. You saw how long it took for the wake up there as well. Uh, Robokai is one of, I think, maybe the only character or one of the few characters that can delay their wake ups. Uh, uh, Robokai so and Bridget. Bridget, okay. And yeah, so that allows you, right there, it stalls out a lot of potential mix-ups, so whoever is running their Oki... So for characters who have to run a very strong Oki game, or are used to being able to run a high-octane Oki game, it can interrupt their uh, momentum and what their usual sequences might look like, so they have to compensate for it. However, right there, it looked like Teddy Treebark was ready for it and called it out with the Secret Garden. Uh, and right now, Milia is doing exactly what Milia wants to do. She has Robokai in the corner, she's getting to set up donuts. Uh, mm -hmm. that is, that is Bad Moon. It is infamous as a 14, 15 frame overhead, uh, that leads to a full combo if she's got a donut on you. But Robokai gets a gold burst, and Robokai with meter is quite wacky, so we might get to see, uh, something fun. Very yeah, I, one of my favorite specials that Robokai has. Ooh, wait, no, might be able to finish oh, off here from the tree bar. Should be a kill. Doesn't quite kill, but uh, we'll see if Milia can keep this going. That move right there, the wrist rockets, once Robokai gets above uh, five bar, I believe, uh, it gets access to the uh, upgraded version of all of his specials, and the wrist rockets are extremely good. Uh, it fires a single projectile that then splits into multiple projectiles. However, Teddy Treebark was able to uh, withstand the momentum shift after the gold burst and close out the round, sitting at one round apiece here. Good action uh from these two. The better version of his special moves are actually dependent on his heat bar that is right next to his tension. Uh, oh, I thought that needs, was. Oh, no, I thought he that needs was... to have ten, uh, ten heat to get the good ver or ten meter to get the good version of them. Uh, he can't not spend it. He will just spend ten meter for his special moves. But uh, the level of his special move is based or is dependent on his heat. Oh, I thought that was normals on heat, and then the special and the specials were on the bar. Anyways, uh, I, I'm I'm saying you, you, you're the expert here. I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna chill. But I, I like that the rock I like that the wrist rocket explodes into multiple rockets. <laughs> I'll yes. give it a bat. It is very cool. Robokai <laughs> is a very is a rad character. I was a little sad that he didn't uh, make it an exert. He was uh, extremely important in the story. <laughs> oh, nice was he? I did not play the story. He was. Here comes he, the secret he, he garden. Crucial. Anyway, nice. Teddy Treebark making the adjustment there as well uh, with a delayed wake up and having the secret garden uh, go back and forth. Good stuff. Teddy, Teddy's been playing Milia for many a year, so it is, uh, it is nice to see, uh, or nice to see that he is able to react to uh, his opponent so so easily. Yeah, we got to imagine too that like one of the standard things that you're hoping for with Robokai is that. Um... Similar to how sometimes having a small body can make it difficult for people to combo on you, so you can rely a little bit on matchup unfamiliarity to. Um to give you some leeway uh but once you're fighting somebody who's experienced that a lot that doesn't give you as much leeway and teddy tree bark it seemed like needed like the one round to adjust to it but is now making the necessary adjustments there absolutely uh and well milia's well milia's offense is uh pretty incredible milia is one of the lowest health characters in the game so if robokai, robokai just needs one or two hits to to uh knock her out yeah uh low, one of the lowest health characters and very low guts as well if i recall correctly Yep, I believe Chip is the only character with a with a lower total than her. Eddie's down there too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, unfortunate for Eddie. Oh man, now, now the chat's all trying to figure out how Robokai's meters work too. <laughs> <laughs> it's a mystery. No we'll one get knows how gang. Robokai works. <laughs> oh, nice. I forget the name of that move, but that's effectively a DP. It's invincible on wake up um, when she goes up and then scoops back down, right? Yep, that is uh, Milia's one reversal, I believe. Nice. Uh, and it looks like Teddy Treebark is going to take this round, but... Oh, gets a gets a reset, it looks like. Yeah, that ended up side-swapping as well. So I guess it was the reset into the Force force Break Disc in the air, and then that wall bounced for the side-swap? Uh, force Break Disc is, uh, nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it appears I was wrong. Hey, well, there's a lot of stuff in this game here, so things <laughs> yeah, happen. A lot of things going on. <laughs> uh, well, it's too late now, but it does appear like his special moves are based on meter and his normals are based on heat. Uh, so, yeah, so and then pushed into the corner here now. Dr. Jimbo seems to have Teddy Treebark uh, on the ropes here uh, currently in the match, riding that sword horse in. Don't we all wish we had a sword horse we could ride into situations and maintain some control in life? <laughs> I know I do. <laughs> Pushed in the corner here. What's the mix going to be? To stall stalls the wake up there. Teddy Treebark just backed off there. That was so confident from Teddy Treebark. Didn't even like try to set up a mix or like 
gauge back and forth, go for like a shimmy or a wiggle of any sort. Just completely stood back there on that delayed wake up. The confidence gets clipped Ooh. by the wrist he's rocket. Very there. patiently, but got hit by the rocket. Yeah, I'm Dr. Jimbo fighting to stay in the in this match. All right. Oh, oh the delays the wake up there, and the bad moon does not call it out. Teddy Tree Bark here. Ooh, nice. Get stuffed by the... Well, not, not, not nice for Teddy, Teddy Tree Bark, but Dr. Jimbo stuffed the action with the horse there. Uh, oh, doesn't get it with the Lust Shaker there. Oh, and Milia gets a or, uh, gets a combo off throw, just like Testament does. Yeah, and she with her corner carry as well, it feels like if she gets a throw or any touch, really, she can carry you into the corner pretty reliably, unless it's a very awkward situation. Yep, Milia has very good corner carry in this game. Yeah, that and J2... Two, I believe. Yeah, um, they took away her J2H in Exert, I believe. That's the helicopter because it was too good in that game. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Teddy Tree Bark takes it, though, and Dr. Jimbo sent to the lower half of the bracket, but going up against a very strong opponent in Teddy Tree Bark, though, no shame in that. But RoboKai, uh, please, please vacate the premises. You have been sent to the recycle heap. All right. Okay. Teddy Tree Bark advances upwards, then that'll be Teddy Tree Bark going up against M Diaper hmm, in the future here. All so right, looks like we are getting into what top sixteen territory for the winner's side. We'll get our next match coming up here in just a minute. Thank you for joining, folks. If you are interested, uh, Boston Blue Beat folks are running a, another tournament, uh, Boston Neo or Blue Beat Neo, I believe, was the full name of it. But that's for CF. And for plus R with a substantial prize bonus in the match arena. So if you're interested in either one of those games, consider entering. Absolutely. Uh, the COVID has affected all of us, but we are still trying to keep our keep our scene together and let uh, and get people playing fighting games. Absolutely. Uh, both those, yeah, match arenas for both of those for both CF and plus R. Um, you can sign up uh, if you want to join that Blaze Blue bracket. It's available at blazeblue.live. If you want to join the Guilty Gear bracket, it's up at guiltygear.rocks. Um, and there are match arenas for both listed on their respective brackets. We would love to see you guys come out. We've got about, I think, uh, 250 in each one right now. Again, that number is going to be going up, up, up. So if you want to get some uh, get some fat stacks while playing Guilty Gear, uh, the option will be on the table in two weeks. Indito, get in there. Get some get some money. Support games. All right, we got Nuclear Cheese versus Michael Dink coming up. Michael Dink we saw on Kai earlier, and Nuclear Cheese we saw on Soul. Looks like we're going to have the classic Guilty Gear matchup. Soul uh, versus Kai. We are getting Shoto versus Shoto, everyone's everyone's favorite matchup. Although I say that, but uh, Soul is Technic, has a fireball and a DP, but definitely plays a non-standard fireball game. Completely platonic round open here from these two with their unique intro. Just a, just a couple emotionally stunted dudes. <laughs> uh, no, they're skipping that intro because I believe Soul Plus Kai intro actually puts you at a different position than uh, mm. than round start normally is. Yeah, I remember hearing about that. It actually shifts uh, the matchup for it. So that's interesting stuff. <laughs> Weird detail in the game. All right, though. Yep. So, so Michael Dink is going to have their work cut out for Ooh, them. Ooh, but the counter hit Bandit Bringer is going to lead to a lot of damage for Nuclear Cheese. Oh, jeez. The Two hit Sidewinder, side but doesn't quite get the uh, get the knockdown. But All she's right. at a substantial health advantage. Substantial health and meter advantage and burst advantage. Everything is in uh, Nuclear Cheese's hands right now. And Michael Dink is pushed oh, onto the back foot. Catches the back, the back dash. Michael Dink stuck his hand into the oven. And that was not like a that was not like an OS catching your back dash like in Street Fighter. That was just a raw read. I, I believe like unless there's a way to OS that in this game. Oh I yeah, no, it. Nuclear Cheese just does that. Oh, okay, <laughs> he's just gonna <laughs> tie right sense. after Bandit Bringer because it's zero on block. <laughs> and DP, Yo, and DP goes all the way up. Here, DP touches the sky. Yo, was this Gene Splice with Cyclops? It reminded me of my NBC two days again. Come on now. Oh, and there's the tyrant right. And Michael Dink forgets about the second hit and gets, mm. gets hit. Does does have burst here both sides. So whatever combos do occur, neither side can be able to close it out just oh, yet. Oh, we've got the max hit Grand Viper, which should lead to a combo, but Nuclear Cheese messed it up. Uh, but she still has Dink in the corner, right yeah. where he wants him. Look at that guard bar. Oh, no, Michael Dink, Dink catching a throw? Dink is very good with these throws. Uh, he catches a lot of them. Not able to always convert them into the most optimal situation. And unfortunately, in that case, Nuclear Cheese is able to close it out and take that round. All right, getting back into it here. Michael Dink and Nuclear Cheese. Nuclear Cheese uh, sitting up a game. Michael Dink going to have to figure out what adjustment to make here. Uh, nuclear, 
Yeah, Michael Dink is definitely going to have to adjust. He Kai has a lot longer range than Sol does, so he's probably going to have to be playing defense for most of this round. Mm -hmm. It seems really hard to try and keep Sol out as well, since Sol has so many ways to advance quickly. So and, many and at different goals. angles. And such high damage if he get manages to get a sidewinder loop. And there we go, but that is a good burst from Michael Dink. Mm -hmm. Ooh, oh. sweep into the Grand Viper, though. Grand Viper doesn't connect all the way there. I'm not sure if that's because it was on the floor or what happened I believe there. it is character-specific. Uh, but Nuclear of course gets, it another, is. <laughs> gets another Grand Viper, and boom, headshot. Drops the combo, but uh, still does a substantial amount of damage. And she's once again firmly in the lead. Mm, it was just a moment ago, too. Michael Dink tried to catch it with an air dash, I believe, S, but the, it got low profile by Nuclear Cheese and just like stole the turn back just like that. Getting pushed into the corner here, having to hold these gun flames. He just gets a stun edge, trying to get some some room. Gets a sweep. Oh, no. Oh, and the Tyrant Rave catches uh, Dink once again. Does Tyrant Rave have startup uh, invul or just, or just yep, swing in? It is okay. invulnerable on startup. Gotcha. I wasn't sure if like the charge stun edge was just like a little over the body too far so that it wasn't going to catch because it seems like there's a dead zone from where it will actually hit if someone's too close. Um, but but apparently Tyrant Rave just has invul so just <laughs> went right through it. All right. And, and Nuclear Cheese has Dink in the corner once again, uh, one round away from taking it over him. Oh, spends the bar to uh, make Fafnir safe and then DPs uh, and gets a counter hit on the follow up. <laughs> yeah. That, and wild throw that should be lead to a ton of damage. But oh, there's the burp. There's the burst throw, and 5D, this should be it. Boom headshot. Got one more? Boom headshot. We and do Nuclear got one Truth more. takes it over Michael Dink, and I believe that means I am up on stream. All right, best of luck to you playing here on stream. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to Mutant and Devon now. Yeah. That was... Wow. Soul is such a cool character to watch play, and seems extremely oppressive to fight. I love to see it, don't want to experience it myself. Yeah, truly. Yeah, that's 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 absolutely the truth. So tails will be up. Uh, JMD gonna jump back on here uh, as well. Uh, it's All been, right. it's been great it. uh, having you here tonight. By the way, I would never guess this was your first time commentating gear. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, yeah, it's my first time commentating gear, but I'm very glad to uh, be here with you all, and thank you for uh, being delightful hosts. And thanks, Aww. thank you, stream, for sticking around as well. Uh, I mentioned this earlier, stream. If I if I'm head ass about something please feel free to call me out and tell me how i'm uh, how i'm wrong we all, we, uh, that's how we learn that's how we learn as a community because we're all we're all sometimes we're all wild head ass a little bit oh yeah well it's also why i like fighting games because like by nature these are games where we're trying to call each other out like in game and elsewise <laughs> like literally that's what we're trying to do like no that's punishable i'm going to show you what's punishable by blowing you up with a punish combo like mm -hmm. we're here to call each other out uh so i think that's a wonderful thing so we got Tails coming up here against Sandman Ahoy. Uh, who does Sandman play? San, uh, so Sandman uh, is... Oh, boy. Who did they play last week? Because um, Tails said Anji, right? Yeah, might be playing... Uh, Tails is an Anji. Ta Tails is 120% an Anji player. I guarantee you Tails is an Anji player. <laughs> okay. I tell you with the... Uh, before I knew that Tails was a Sin player, I knew Tails was an Anji player. Um, wow. Okay, got it. <laughs> and then I wasn't even around for the I wasn't around for the accent core days. Um, Sandman, I'm not sure. You know, like Tails pointed out, uh, Sandman, uh, I I know primarily as a Soul Calibur player. Um, and, oh and right, extremely well. Uh, uh, you know, I, I I'm almost certain uh, top top three. Um, oh, here we go. At, at ECT um, and and other majors. Wow. Very very strong in Soul Calibur. Brand new to anime fighters, and and you know, okay. again, that's a that's a totally different. Uh, a totally different style. So, but Tails, ah. on the other hand, is a is a uh, plus R aficionado. All right, let's get this action then. So we got Sandman going up against Tails here. Sandman on Kai, Tails on Anji. I love that Anji color. Very good taste. Yeah, we love the purple. Oh, but you gotta, gotta take one look at me at a tournament to know that. My backpack's purple. I probably got purple nail polish on. There you go. <laughs> All right, push into the corner here. Tails has got that pressure. Uh, so Anchi here got these guard point specials that uh, Fujin can cancel into other specials, which uh, ha all have different benefits and negatives to them. Mm -hmm. uh, so the key point with Anji is to try to mix up how you're extending those. If you fall into the same extension all the time, it's really easy to call out and punish. Mm -hmm. Same man, not doing too bad for themselves here. Nice burst there. Kind of jumping in, being really patient. Kind of some classic fighting game fundamentals there, you know, just kind of waiting and then just taking... Mm -hmm. Doesn't need to do a, a huge, you know, 
combo punish or anything. Just kind of hit him, take him down for the knockdown, wait for him to come back in. But Tails definitely taking it strong at the start. Ooh. Yeah, now, it is one of those things, too, where the more experienced someone is with, um, well, any fighter, really, but especially in gear, um, mm. you, the, once you get a feel for someone's pressure and offense, you can call them out a lot harder uh, with these games, since the options are so varied. And so once you can get a sense of, okay, this is how this person likes to block, likes to move, or whatever, mm -hmm. then uh, you can crank it up a little bit more. So the, yeah. the first round is data, is what I was saying there, yeah. essentially. We'll see how Tails does with that data. Right, I was going to say, and, and one of the things that I noticed and that Tails has already kind of started to respond to was that uh, last time... Um, uh, Sandman was, was blocking the first hit of the butterfly and then jumping to block the second hit. And Tails immediately started going to, to respond to that and, mm -hmm. and kind of take a different approach uh, on Oki and, and took that round. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, so we'll see if Tails here is able to take the third round. Pressing in. Ooh, nice. Gets the scoop. It looks like Anji only gets Oki off of the throw, unless I'm mistaken there. Looks like he goes right down to the ground. Well, yeah, it was straight knockdown, yep. Yep, okay. Which is, not bad which, is, which is common, which is common, you know, you know, as was stated earlier, it's, it's kind of, that's a, having a combo off throw is, 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 you know, much more of a, kind of a privilege for some characters. And for gotcha. those characters, it can be where a lot of their damage comes from, but for Anji, it's just letting in, you know, reset Oki. Ooh. There's that jump into blocking the butterfly, like you, like you mentioned earlier there. Mm -hmm. yeah. oh, Ooh, goes oh. to the air super, into the air, or sorry, uh, air stomp there, it looked like. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, right. the, the air super stomp is, is, would have, would have sealed the round for him if it had, uh, if, uh, if, them if it had landed, but... Blocks the greed sever as a cross up there. I would have got hit. Yeah. Tails takes the first game. You know, though, for what you were saying with Sandman, though, oh, Sandman looks like they may have uh, dropped from the lobby there uh, after the match. Hopefully, get them back in here. With what you were saying about Sandman being new to gear, but having a lot of experience with Soul Calibur, that was played very, very well for being new to gear still. Oh, yeah. No. Well, so Sandman was in the bracket last week, too, um, has, and mm -hmm. has, you know, like definitely been on the grind. Um, right. Okay, looks like we got Sandman back in the bracket. You got and and you know we all know you got to take those L's before you can start really taking those dubs. And oh yeah, no one no one is a good fighting game player. They uh, become a good fighting game player <laughs> through a lot of iterations and uh, learning. <laughs> so yeah, and also it's one of those things too where if um, I guarantee that however many games, however good Sandman was in Soul Calibur, I'm sure they ate a ton of L's getting on that path to get strong. So you know it's all part of the process. Yep. All right. See what the round start's gonna be this time go around. Let's see who can take the early advantage. Oh, just uh, jumps away and backs off and catches with a charge stun edge. Not able to get too much else out of it though, aside from some damage. Ah, there's the corner knockdown. Just Fujin's through it? Okay. Yep. Yeah, because Fujin has um, strike invincibility just up until it hits, I believe. It might have a couple of frames of vulnerability there in the middle. Yep. Yeah, it's 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 effectively a horizontal DP, right? Uh, is, is kind of how <laughs> you can think of it. Um... Nice combo there from Sandman. Nice uses that uh, charge seal there to score some frames. Make forces the block on the charge stun edge there, and that would have been a cross up there too. That uh, J that J S that Kai has has a nice cross up hitbox on it as well. But Tails Don didn't get snagged by it here, enforcing their own pressure, pushing in, blocking all the Fujin mix ups here. Sandman blocked that way longer than I would have, <laughs> even though that round didn't go that way. <laughs> wow, really? Just that uh, two H right out the gate? Okay, I believe that's his two H at least. Nice. Oh, wow. The butterfly uh, clips him out of Grand Viper. Or not Grand Viper. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Greed Sever. Not Greed Sever. Wow. Vapor Thrust. The <laughs> other one with a five-letter V word somewhere in there. <laughs> You're right, though. I hadn't like, thought how, about that. How many, how many Guilty Gear move names can I go through before I get the right one? Right? <laughs> Viper is also one? <laughs> oh, Viper and Vapor. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> All right, taking it all the way over there. Nice. Oh, doesn't get the full oh, combo. Oh, one touch away here. Slightest touch will do it. <gasps> Catches it with the air super. With the dive big right stomp down. and spin. Yo, spin on him. Tails of Dawn takes it over Sandman. Is that an air super? Look like it either maybe that is an air super. Yep. or something? Does yep. it have like invincibility on it when it comes down? Okay. Uh, Tails will be able to tell you when they're back. That's true. Yes, it does. <laughs> ah. There you go. Yo, prettiest pony. You've read that fic too? I see. Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't mind me. Don't mind me. Oh, I see what's going on. Man tried to air throw a super. <laughs> All right. So we officially so, have our top eight. Uh, do we have our top eight? No. Losers is still running. Uh, so we're waiting on the loser side for top eight. But they're running matches right now, I think. Uh, All right. 
Oh, and we got our top four. We got our what top four on the winner side of things. We got ooh, we got nuclear cheese versus Teddy Tree Bark at some point. Yeah, yeah, that could be fire. There's gonna be I'm yeah. So we got nuclear cheese versus Teddy Tree Bark. Uh, Tails, you're gonna go up against Thello again. See if uh, someone can get the run back from next week. <laughs> <laughs> wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Um, <laughs> and then uh, we got a couple matches still going on over on loser side. Let's. Uh, I'm gonna check in real quick on the bracket. Uh, see how those are going. All right. Thank you for joining folks too. Yep. Sticking with us here on this lovely Thursday night where we're all in our homes on account of a pandemic in our country, but you know. <laughs> and across the world, it, it, it is what it is, truly, for sure. Um, indeed, indeed. Uh, let's see, let's run up. Uh, we're gonna do... Getting our next match put together here. Yep. Who haven't we seen on, who haven't we seen yet? We haven't seen a Venom. I'd love to see a Venom if, we can get a, if there's any Venom players here. I Feels would like also love to see a Venom, just because I think that character should uh, be on stream more often. That character's so cool. He is. Well, if I'm not commentating next time, maybe I'll enter. <laughs> yeah. Or do yeah. both. That is that is a that is a, a blue beat classic. So. <laughs> oh, I don't I don't I don't know if my brain's ready for that yet. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's okay. You just don't don't do commentary and play at the same time. Or do. <laughs> or do. No, people hear me like muttering, like, "Wait, is this a two? Is this a two loop or a three loop?" Oh, uh. that's why I use push to talk. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, 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 no! Everybody gets just my unfettered nonsense, garbage thoughts the whole time. It's, it's just cussing. <laughs> um, all right. Just cussing. So we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna run nuclear cheese versus Teddy Tree Bark, folks. Thank you for sticking with us. Uh, we'd like to again remind you we are running a big tournament, Boston Blue Beat Neo. In two weeks, you can sign up guiltygear.rocks. They are already in the room faster. I was going to do this as a quick little give them time, but they're here, so we're going to go right back. Wow, uh, they were on top of it. Let's go. And now we get to see uh, Champion Nuclear Cheese versus uh, Teddy Treebark. Both of these players have been playing these characters for many years, so this should be a good match for everyone. Hell yeah, let's do it. We got Teddy Treebark on Milia. We got Nuclear Cheese on Soul. Get down to it. Get I, I have to say, I love the chibi characters in the in the corners. Oh, absolutely, one hundred percent, love it. Chibi Soul is so angry. <laughs> All right, <laughs> and they both jump on round start, but Nuclear Cheese gets a uh, jump slash into a DP, yeah. take a little bit of damage off of uh, Milia. But ooh, looks like Teddy Tree Bark is going to get a knockdown. Oh, didn't quite able to was try to use the pin to extend the combo to get the full carry to the corner, I think, and it didn't quite work out there. Uh, Soul notorious for having a very weird air. Uh, air hurt box, so couldn't mm. drop the combo because of that. Gotcha. Didn't know that. It's good to know. All these uh, characters yes. with their unique aspects. Yep, Soul and Order Souls air hit boxes are shaped uh, roughly like Pac-Man. Sure, okay. There's that just a sense. chunk miss in there. <laughs> oh, try, tries for the same conversion, and I'm not sure if it's just not working Drops out because of the hitbox. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh, the and we get a Sidewinder, and this should kill because of the uh, clean hit bonus damage. That's so and unfortunate. And Nuclear gets the kill. Because that was a black beat combo as well. So there was a critical moment where Teddy Treebar could have been able to tech out of that early, but then got stuck into the Sidewinder portion of it. That's so unfortunate. Uh, Guilty, uh, for those of you that do not play, Guilty Gear is, I believe, the only game remaining that still uses Mash 2 tech. Yeah, it's uh, well, not even. Yeah, it's it's a little bit of a weird thing to adjust to because, like in Unist, there's a similar mechanic where you can have um, or Unist or Blaze Blue, but in those games, I believe you can just hold the button down. Yep. Uh, either way, though, Nuclear Cheese is on a tear right oh, now. And Bandit Revolver loops and Teddy Treebark at no health and gets hit by, uh, and gets chipped out by Fafnir, and Nuclear Cheese takes the first round, uh, first game even. <laughs> yeah, that was a little bit of an intense, uh, very, very close there. Well. It felt a lot closer in the first round, and then after the second round started, I'm not sure if Teddy Treebark uh, just couldn't get the momentum going again, or if Nuclear Cheese was able to figure something out there, but that second round felt, felt a lot rougher for Teddy Treebark. Yeah, uh, I imagine it's a volatile matchup for Milia too, as uh, Soul is a very high damage character, and Milia does not have much health. Yeah, just exactly. One, just one mistake, and the entire round could be taken away from Teddy. Absolutely. Let's get back into it here. See how both players start off. Teddy Treebark just. Oh, uh, and Teddy Treebark gets an early knockdown, uh, but doesn't isn't able to get anything from it, and is now in the corner, uh, right where Cheese wants him, but manages oh, no. to get out. Had a had a combo going there, but seemed like didn't believe in the confirm and wasn't able to pick it up into anything else. They were trying to convert it into a knockdown or something. Oh, and Nuclear Cheese gets a knockdown, but gets hit by the Milia reversal. Uh, Teddy Treebark has a substantial life lead, but it oh, is no, gone there it now. <laughs> Yo, that life lead was taken away. Oh, but gets the knockdown convert conversion, drops it against Soul, but gets into a reset. 
yeah, the reset had the reset, but then uh, burst on the reset there. So kind of back to relatively Those even. Players certain. one hit away from death, but uh, looks like Teddy Treebark takes this round. All right, Teddy Treebark able to get some momentum back in their hand. Let's roll. Nice. Well, jump to... punch gets a gets a little bit of damage, but Soul is misses the clean hit sidewinder. Uh, only manages to get one, but it still does almost a quarter of Teddy's health. Nice. Gets a counter hit on the uh, hairpin there. Able to set up the disc there. Doesn't get gets doesn't a knockdown. Hit. Baits the volcanic viper and is going to do it again. Yeah, I thought Good the volcanic effect. viper was going to work out, but uh, did not. Ooh, gets the corner carry here with the helicopter. Uses the pin for the extension. There's a secret garden out on deck there. Grand Viper to push away from the secret garden? Is that just a thing that souls do? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Grand Viper and Roman cancel to keep the pressure going. Gets a wild throw. Uh, Teddy Treebark had nuclear cheese right where he wanted him, but uh, unfortunately, nuclear cheese is just kind of going to do moves. Yeah, so at this point, though, pushed uh, pretty much to f finish it out there, Ooh. and hey, Treebark's able to take the game, and no rounds won for Nuclear Cheese at that point, so momentum has been re-seized. Absolutely, 1-1. One, one. Teddy Treebark has managed to make those adjustments, and uh, it is now on Nuclear Cheese to see if he can bring it back. Yeah, we got the players uh, swapping sides here, so it is going to be Teddy, Teddy Treebark's uh, health, etc. on P2 side, and Nuclear Cheese on P1 side. Uh, beta things. But yeah, let's get I, back I, into it. I understand why the lobby does that, but it's going to mix me up every time. Oh, I know. <laughs> I'm, trying to, I'm trying to call it out for myself, too. All right there. So let's see uh, what the round is going to be here. I mixed enough by Milia as it is. <laughs> <laughs> that was another backdash from Teddy Treebark, which we saw start off the last uh, game uh, in round one. So it might be the go-to strat here. Just not going to try to contest and just wait for the safe pressure. Now, Milia has two air dashes, so Milia is able to uh, control the airspace quite well. Uh, something that she definitely needs to do against Soul in this matchup. Oh yeah, it's so irritating to deal with too. It's I, I hate it as Venom, but I'll complain about that in my own time. <laughs> oh, uh, well, we, get the, we get the Bandit Revolver loop into oh, a wild throw. Man throw. This should hurt, uh, but we drop the Bandit Revolver and Teddy Treebark gets in, but gets hit by a dead angle. Yeah, dead angle uh, forces the pressure off there, able to interrupt the momentum there from Teddy Treebark. Ooh, up, slide up, this through. looks like a knockdown, and what's the mix-up going to be? It is a it's throw. A throw. Nice, gets the burst out of the throw there. Hasn't been able to pick up the hairpin yet, so doesn't have the projectile on hand. The hairpin there, you can see it on the ground. Uh, it's really strong if she can get the counter hit with it. So I wouldn't even be surprised to see Teddy Treebark back off just to try to pick it up. There oh, it is. And she does pick it up. Yeah, Milia does have right to there. crouch on top of the uh, the pin to pick it up after she throws it, before she can use it again. I think she can roll. Like can, can, can she use her roll to get it as well, I think? But I believe I, she can. Yeah, I'll, we'll, we'll ask somebody in chat to, to, to clear it up for us later. For now, Teddy Treebark's trying to stay alive oh, here. Oh, a counter hit, and should kill, but drops the combo, and oh, no. both players one hit on hand. death. This is anyone's game, and Teddy Treebark takes it. Teddy Treebark is now one round away from taking over nuclear cheese. Yo, let's go, Teddy Treebark, playing really well and still has burst on deck as let's well. Go, so I wouldn't, Teddy. Be, I wouldn't be surprised to see an early burst here just to get out of the pressure and try to get it back before the round's end. Gets the counter hit with the pin. That counter hit pin is giving Teddy Treebark so much mileage in this match so far. The oh, last that super jump looked like it was probably supposed to be a uh, disc, but it does not matter as we get another knockdown. And what's the mix-up? Well, we've got a Grand Viper into Roman Cancel. Oh, gets the juggle here. Doesn't get, doesn't quite get the combo complete there. I think say Treebark was sitting on the burst there, just saying like, let's see if you get this uh, confirm into the next stretch of it before I go for the burst there, and didn't but quite still fall did for it. Quite a lot of damage because of how low Milia's health is. Yeah, getting into the guts now, but like you said, she has very low guts, so it may not be too, worth too much. Uses oh. the force break disc into a knockdown. That was a weird situation there. Bates the volcanic viper, but is unable to confirm because of the uh, follow up, mm. and this should be the kill. That'll be it. Nuclear cheese can. There it is. Boom headshot, and both players one round away from winning. No burst on either side right now as well, so this whatever hit happens here is going to be able to be turned into some big results if they can confirm into something <gasps> big Teddy just like that. Closer. Oh, but that should have been big, but drops the combo. And Teddy Tree Bark is uh, going to be able to push Soul nearly to the corner and uh, get a mix-up. Yeah, forces into the corner here, trying to just keep those discs here. Not going to go go in too hard, uh, waiting. Cause I think think I think since the meter's on deck there, knows that the Roman cancel after an option might come out, so not trying to overextend too too much. Good dead angle. Isn't able to punish the tyrant rave. Oh, and it has takes burst. Uh, some damage. Has burst now, but Teddy Treebark's health is quite low. Yeah, this is looking very very uh, rough for Teddy Treebark here. Burst. Oh man, it uh, fa bleh, fails to knock Soul down, but gets a combo. Let's see if uh, Teddy can take this. Got the force break disc here in the corner. Oh no, oh, the gold burst. burst as well. That's so much meter on hand now. That's it. Least... Low health with no burst. Oh, oh we get the tyrant ray of Roman cancel. Roman cancel. Meter's back to being relatively even now. This is it's probably going to take at least two oh, setups from Milia. 
and one setup Maybe should get there. Next hit will probably kill. Oh, oh. wow. She gets up by the air normal. Is oh, the air throw not going to convert it? Was it going to be catches oh, with the sweep? She sweeps for the kill. That was a close set. That was so... I, he couldn't have got it any closer. If Those two players absolutely delivered on that set there. That was wild. That was oh, wild. And it looks like it is me again, so I'm going to mute and deafen. Yeah, Tails, it's going to be uh, it's going to be Tails versus Stello. Uh, this is our run back from uh, last week. Oh. Uh, yeah. Uh, Who last, took it last week? Uh, last week, Stello took it. Ooh. Uh, so, which is why I was playfully, uh, playfully uh, teasing Tails and saying, you got to get the run back this week. Because on the one hand, I got to support my boy. On the other hand... You no, know, I love to see. Oh yeah, love to see. I love, you know, one of my one of my uh, one of my closest training partners, one of my good friends, uh, Agro Craig, plays Justice. So so now I have to, and he's not playing Faust, which I appreciate. So now I have to root for Justice inherently by default. It's like a mm -hmm. it's like a tough little tough little situation I find myself in here. Where I gotta want to root for my co commentator, want to root for a character. Um, ah, so torn, so torn. Oh, it's brutal. It's brutal. <laughs> the things we put up with. <laughs> the things we root for <laughs> here. Right. So we got Anji versus Justice. I don't think I've ever seen this matchup play out before, so this will be intriguing to watch. So we got uh, Tails going up against Philo. I go on mute for a second. I got to sneeze. Achoo. All right, I think I got it. I think I got it here. If I sneeze on stream, just just imagine that it's just me being hype. That's... Yo, Teddy, I see you in I see you in chat. You played a hell of a match there. That was really cool to see. That was an incredible match for sure. Absolutely. But. All right, both sides here uh, getting into it. We got that Anji pressure going already against Thilo. Yep. Oh, there's a throw. This is one of, those, of it. Yep, this is a classic kind of uh, zoning versus uh, Anji wants to be in your face situation, right? Uh, Justice mm -hmm. has the advantage of having a counter, um, kind of a kind of a parry stance that works like that. Has that great throw, gets full combo off of throws. We were discussing mm -hmm. earlier Justice and Testament, both kind of unique in that regard. Um, so it is a oh. kick throw is such a heavy part of Justice's game, but there come uh, the nukes. Yep. And these gigantic air normals as well. So even if you try to approach Justice, unless you're like in Justice's face. I just oh, realized that Justice is the character who is heavily focused on nukes and also destroyed Japan and uh, happens to be red, white, and blue. And uh, all of that just became very clear to me in one very sudden moment. <laughs> what is a country working through its trauma? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> just with the counter tail stance here. Uh, jumps up as well uh, into the full combo, scores a knockdown after it. Nukes on deck here. Gets a clip into another combo. Combos into the nuke. We got more of them going out there. Ooh, gets stuffed by the Fujin. Pl powers through it. Catches with the low. Went to the Roman cancel afterwards. Nice. Nice command grab. Yep, that, that gets Anji the knockdown as well. Uh, all of Anji's kind of throw stuff. That command grab is a great combo ender. Uh, gets the setup for Butterfly Oki and everything. Takes it to the corner. Got a block. Ooh, Butterfly closes, it out, the closes out the round there. And Tails takes game one. All right, and looks like uh, both sides are staying with who they got here. Uh, of course, we got the lobby swap though for the names. Uh, Chad is Chad is telling us that uh, justice is potentially made by the U.S. military in lore. Although we might be we might be getting an, an adjustment to that. We might be discovering uh, uh, a a huh. very a very not so subtle political statement being made in Guilty Gear. Huh. I thought fighting games were... Well, okay. <laughs> this, is, this is a lot to digest. <laughs> They're not all fun in games now, but doing a great job doing a great job zoning with those nukes. This is very true. Uh, well, yeah. Well, yes, they are. Sorry, the names got swapped there, and I was like, wait a oh, second, shoot, though. That's uh, my bad. Yeah. No, it's okay. This is the player two swapped here. Is that like a TK special there that we saw? That, that, that like, orb ball that, uh, that Anji's doing there? That looks pretty interesting. Uh, got those nukes back on deck here. Mm -hmm. Theo's needing to get... Some sort of advantage going. Gets a, oh, must have been trying to cut, cut through it there. Catches with a laser. Gets a nice bit of damage there. Yeah, Justice does get to control when the it's it's a negative edge style. So Justice does get to control when those nukes mm -hmm. go up. So so you can you can kind of try to time it around. You know, Anji might try to fujin through those nukes, and you can just hold it mm -hmm. down a little bit longer and, and get the timing on on when Anji's going to become vulnerable again. Yeah. Oh, nice. Uses that command dash. It costs twenty five meter, but uh, gets yep. gets Justice across the screen and out of the situation. All right. It's going to be here. Clips with that low to start it off. Able to convert it. Oh, able to get a second hit after that low. It was a two hit combo, not a three hit. So was able to get the sword after that. Already down about 40% life is Tails. He'll get pushed in the corner here. Woo, nice. Gets the stagger off the uh, H. 
Ooh, more nukes out there on the field. Tries to go, go for the counter stance, but goes for it a little bit too early. If that had been come out uh, maybe half a beat later, that might have worked out. Eats the throw into the Oki. Bello definitely I... playing way more patient this round after the first round that uh, that Tails took. Mm -hmm. Kind of being happier to just kind of zone out with the nukes, do the timing, wait for a Fujin and try to punish. Mm -hmm. Nice conversion just... there. Justice can afford to play a very patient game, too, with uh, how their tools work out. And Justice also builds a ridiculous amount of meter just for advancing forward compared to a lot of other characters. Mm -hmm. And another, that, and that'll be Thilo taking game two. And I believe it's going to swap them again. <laughs> it, it will. Last time it actually, actually, last time it, it seemed to have, it seemed to have stayed okay. But I, I feel like it depends on which side wins. I, I'm not 100% sure. Yeah. But. So another, so a special that got used for anybody who's watching and is uh, not as familiar with gear, there was the special, not the, not the laser that swooped upwards from Justice, but mm -hmm. the horizontal laser. Um, that's, I think it, Michael Sword is the full name of it. That yes. thing is effectively a reversal as well. It's, it's strike invincible up till it's one frame past when it's active. Uh, so it can call out a lot of stuff. It can be FRC'd as well for uh, conversions and elsewise. And it's like nine plus four frames. So it's really fast. Getting pushed in the corner here. Oh, okay. Tails is able to turn into, turn this into some pressure. There's the knockdown into the butterfly setup. Fujin in. Oh, nice. Empty uh, follow up into a throw. Good stuff. Okay, I'm getting called out by nine plus four not being too fast. Uh, that's that's <laughs> fair. In this game, in this game, I guess that that isn't too fast, but it feels pretty quick for going full screen. But uh, fair enough, though. Fair the, enough. <laughs> the, the range on it, it's it's if it was faster. And still had that hitbox. It would be a problem. Instead, yes. it's just like, it would be a capital P problem. Instead, it's just a lowercase p problem. Yeah, lowercase p problem. <laughs> oh, it's Michael Blade for super version and not Michael Sword. So blades are stronger than swords. All right. Confirmed. Okay. Cannon. Got it. Got it. Amazing, I understand this now. Amazing rush down a combo here from Tails, though. Absolutely. Oh. What a strong response after this last game. Yeah, and also I like the uh, using the command dash there to get out from the red butterfly setup because the red butterfly setup is the one that can provide the actual unblockable because the reds are uh, overheads. Ooh, one that'll more take Fujin it though. To get through, Fujin such a such a clean response every time to Michael Sword, and you know it counteracted with you know how uh, you know when those nukes were out, mm -hmm. no good. When just Michael Sword is happening, not a problem. Congratulations, Tails. Thank you. Tails takes it over Philo. Tails advances up, and Tails, your reward is to fight nuclear cheese. Wow, that's a that that's a that's a New England classic. Uh, up next, we're gonna have uh, undersea magic and Lem. All right, so we're gonna play through some of the lower half of the bracket here. It's gonna be one, two, three. Yeah, so we got our top eight here: nuclear cheese and Tails, undersea magic and Lem, Doctor Jimbo and Crazy Master Hand, and then Philo and Teddy Treebark, with nuclear cheese and Tails sitting on the upper half of the bracket. Let's get to it. You were saying got grudged in chat, but there could be a double a double ungrudge. You don't know. You could run it all double the way grudge. back and then ungrudge it in, in grand finals. The potential is there. Amazing. The emergent narrative of fighting games. This is why we're here, folks. Love a good narrative. All well, right, how so, can I make uh, this more like wrestling? <laughs> <laughs> I feel you. I feel you. <laughs> Can't believe that when locals come back, I'm just going to mandate that everybody in top eight gets entrance music. No. Um, then Jabali <laughs> will. Fl J I Jabali would not. Fl I'm not worth his time. But I would be sued for gimmick <laughs> infringement. I would be sued for gimmick infringement. So Undersea Magic, we saw a little earlier. I believe they were playing Faust, I want to say? Yes, yes, they were playing Faust. And then Lem, we haven't seen yet, and Lem is playing Cliff. Oh, this will be my first time uh, Ooh, seeing Cliff. Nice, go ahead. Yep. Sorry. Cliff is one of the new characters to plus, uh, to plus R. He, um, he does a lot of damage, and he has huge buttons. However, uh, Cliff actually raises his own stun gauge with a couple of his moves, and he has the lowest stun in the game. So yeah. he's very easy to stun, and his health is very low. Seems like he can uh, do some very big damage, though. I've seen some of the combos that uh, this dude can pull out. Yes, he is. He is a very high risk, high reward character. Uh, and he gets to use his taunt in actual matches. And I love characters that do that. Yo, did did he just like jump and then swing his sword like downward? It's like a grand blue uh, Ju or like a pizza cutter from Marvel almost. Jeez. 
All right. Godspeed to Cliff. Oh, All right. and now we're getting one of those Cliff combos. Does a chunk of Faust's health. Uh, Cliff has some rather unorthodox movement if you aren't used to dealing with him. So Yeah, uh, I'm seeing that right there. He uses that as a crossover. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh, so we will see if Undersea knows the matchup. All right. Cliff uh, takes round one there, or Lem takes round one with Cliff, I should say. Lem I love this uh, Faust color, too, from uh, Undersea Magic. Uh, very psychedelic. Oh, Whoa, was, that uh, like a, was that like a charge-up move? He, yeah, like forward uh, and then... he can hold his six heavy and two heavy uh, to increase their damage and other properties. Uh, so he held the Wild. two heavy. All right. Cool uh, stuff. Six, six heavy on full charge uh, is an overhead and does something like 200 damage. Oh, oh and then we see Cliff getting dizzied, and will that kill? There's a first Lem is not willing to give up this round yet. Yo, he just vaults right over that? Love it. Mm -hmm. uh, but we'll see what... Oh, and Undersea Magic gets it with the overhead. Meteors into the dives. Just so much stuff on the screen. I love it. You know, this is why I can play this game as a Marvel player. I'm used to having all these like weird angles and so much stuff on the screen. Dude, this, this seems normal. This is like the environment I was bred in. I like it. Okay. Yeah. Well, all right. And Push now we've got Cliff in the corner where he absolutely does not want to be. D does uh, Cliff not have many uh, reversal options to try to force people out? Uh, no, he has a reversal super, but that is about it. I think his DP mm. has invuln, but his DP is, uh, well, well, we'll see if he uses it. It's, it's quite awkward. Oh, is that the sword wiggle? Yeah, that's the sword wiggle. Yeah, that's, that's the, that's the, I gotta get those cobwebs out of here before company comes over. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, both sides here. Uh, Cliff's getting pushed in the corner here, trying to jump up and stay out of this pressure from Undersea Magic, uh, but Undersea Magic got some stuff figured out. Cliff's got a dive kick. Uh, he rides the sword down. Okay. Yeah, that's his jump D. Cliff does have a, uh does have a fully strike in vuln uh dodge however it ra however it raises his stun and he will break his back and be vulnerable when he tries to do it if his stun gauge is too high oh he's got a uh, okay cool he's got a clock dodge make Sick. him make him humble <laughs> all right uh back at it here undersea magic took game one uh lem was not quite able to pull it out but undersea magic here, making some adjustments and was able to uh, fight back after losing that first round Both uh, two two guys with very awkwardly long and uh, big <laughs> giant weapons. Yeah, I don't know how to feel oh. about that. <laughs> and ooh, and there's the sword wiggle that we were talking about. Nice wiggle, wiggle. clearing those co cobwebs out. <laughs> uh, blocks the bomb there. Bomb seems to seems to still do uh, not insignificant damage, even if you uh, block it there. So kind of want to FD it sometimes. Nice with the okay. dust combo. Cool stuff. Uh, Cliff's, Cliff's dust raises his stun, but it is very hard to see coming because he uh, because he just looks like he is standing for the first like 15 frames of it. Ah, gotcha. So even if it isn't like too fast, the visual cue does not come up fast enough. Yep. Uh, so if Cliff ever cancels a normal into standing still, watch out. He's going to do an overhead. Oh, gets clipped by the uh, mini Faust there. Blocks the bomb. Getting yep. zoned out here by undersea magic, but was able to take round one though. So certainly not out of the out of the running. Now you're seeing Cliff use his sweep a lot. Uh, Cliff's sweep is very very fast and leads to his Oki game. So it is a uh, really important normal for his tool set. It's oh, like six or seven frames. It's very very fast. Wow. Oh, yeah. We, that five D again. We just saw that uh, he he used that just before the five D there. It looked like. Yep. Okay, cool. Oh. Gotcha. Oh, and that disc normal looks really cool there, too. It's plus a bunch on block, too, right? Yeah, it's a very plus on block. Uh, and you can FRC it to make it even more plus. Oh. Yo, I see you, uh, I see you, NB. Thanks for the call out there about those cliff colors. <laughs> 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 All right, nice spot dodge on the overhead there. That was so sick. Oh, and Cliff gets hit by the proximity unblockable. Ooh, right oh, right, the sword in there uses the Roman candle to keep it safe. And we get another bomb. Thanks. I'm surprised that, that was a yeah. bomb. Closes it out with the uh, disc there. That's going to be 1-1. One, one. And I was surprised that we didn't see a stun there, because there were like three, four dusts in that round. Or does his uh, stun lower uh, in some fashion in the background? Uh, so if you haven't been hit for a while, uh, your stun gauge will lower. You can actually see if a character is close to stun. If you look at the, uh, their portrait next to their health bar, it'll flash red if they are one or two hits away. Oh, cool. I didn't know that. Yep. Awesome. Learn more every day. Yeah, a lot of, lot of little subtle visual cues in Guilty Gear. It's really, it's really interesting how they, they really use every facet of the screen. They who, do. Who else didn't know about the, uh, the picture flashing red uh, indicating stun? Please don't make me feel so alone. <laughs> <laughs> 
Somebody else shout it out in chat, please. Uh, you <laughs> there to get those plus frames. Pole vaults in after the disc. This character does this not character. want to does not want to see Faust throw an item. Oh, and we get some sword wiggling. Oh, and he texts right back into the sword wiggle. Gets the juggle on the flowers there. Running on up there, gets hit by the by decay. Oh, nice! Gets the gold burst into the pole vault, staying on top of things here. Riding yeah, the sword into the corner. Is both a low and an anti air. It is an incredible button. Oh, and this should kill. Is that like young Cliff there? Yeah, for uh, Cliff supers and I believe his force break, he turns into a uh, young Cliff. All right, all right. Y young Cliff don't look too bad. Okay, okay. How's his SoundCloud? <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm pushing I'm here. To push slowly <laughs> into the corner. I'm still reeling off of that SoundCloud. When, who will be the first SoundCloud uh, character in a fighting game? That's what I'm waiting on. All I right. I feel like we have to have been there, and this should kill. Yes. Nice. Catches and it. And takes it. Was able to uh, pull it out there and make the adjustment after Undersea Magic was able to win the first game. And... Lem advances on, and Undersea Magic is unfortunately uh, left behind in the bracket. That was a lower bracket match, so they are toast. And Undersea Magic will be going up against Thilo next, so that'll be Cliff versus... Oh, sorry, Lem will be going up against Thilo. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, so we've in got their Cliff match. Justice, the two characters that are new to Plus R. Yeah. That's Yo, the, 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 the Plus, plus R, R showdown? Yeah. Oh, that's a hype. Showdown. Right now, yeah. though, it's going to be <laughs> Double Jeopardy. It's gonna be uh, it's gonna be uh, Doctor Jimbo versus uh, Crazy Master Hand. Yo, who was asking for some Testament earlier? I think that was uh, UNB in the chat there asking about Testament. Uh, we should have a Testament player coming up here. It's gonna be Testament versus Robokai. Let's go. All right. So, Testament versus Robokai. I have no idea what to expect from this as a matchup. Uh, well, both of these characters do pretty good damage. Robokai has high guts, so Poison is going to be pretty effective against him. He's also... Uh, and I do not know how effective the delay wake-up is going to be. Is Testament really like setting webs on wake-up? And those oh, are just yeah. going to stick around and wait for him. Yeah, like, what are you going to do? Do a delayed wake-up and give Testament more time to get to set up shop? Hmm. Uh, yeah. Robo Robokai should be winning on the damage exchange, so as long as he can stop Testament from playing his game, uh, he should win. Interesting, interesting. I like this. And so, should be should be a wild matchup. Uh, we saw both these players on stream earlier, so they are both players who know what they're doing here. This is what, playing for playing for 7th. Play, oh, yeah, whoever loses this will be in 7th, or tied for 7th. And we'll see if we have the other player. But we'll, we'll see what happens from here. I'm getting uh, rambly about myself, folks. Sorry. Been a weird day. Been a weird day. <laughs> it's wow. been a weird year. <laughs> yeah, right? Like, I feel like at, at, at this point of it, we can all just say, like, uh, 2020, that's my excuse for, like, whatever's going on. Uh -oh. <laughs> all right. So into the action here. Uh, Thank you for giving me an option select if I drop a combo. God, right? <laughs> 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 it's not my fault, 2020. Uh, anyway, Robokai gets opened up by the Testament overhead. Yeah, and so uh, interesting thing there too. So pl was placing the mat, and even though the EXE Beast was coming, was kind of like con was kind of content just to block it, just because they were still standing on the mat. Interesting. Oh, and there is that Robo Dash giving him a bunch of meter. Uh, now it is usually you want to block the Robo Dash, but Robokai does have a command throw, and it does drain your meter, so it is not. Not a great idea to block him a ton. Yeah, it's uh, the the meter steal on it. Like, how substantial is the meter steal? Is it like ten like percent, twenty five? Pretty big. Uh, I think I do not know exactly how much, but it is definitely quite substantial. Fair uh, enough. Fair enough. We'll get to see it. <laughs> yeah, I'm just like thinking of like other like meter steal throw setups in games, and like the in Marvel Three, Shuma's throw steals meter, but it's like unless you're doing like an anti phoenix setup, it's kind of like meh for the amount of meter that it steals. It's neat, but like doesn't yeah. do too much. Yeah, right, crazy master here. hand here. Oh, crazy master hand sitting on a nice life lead. Yep, just one hit, and uh, Doctor Jimbo will be dead. And there's a tree right in front of him, I believe. Uh, oh, there it is. There and it the is. Tree kills him. Testament Yo. got to set up that garden. Yo, Fighting Testament is goth memory. That is <laughs> that is the game of Fighting Testament. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, now trying to ooh, get some pressure here. Nice. I love that laser animation, too. I think that's his, um, what, his H, and it acts like his sweep? 
No, it's uh, his S and acts like a sweep. Something yeah, like his his crouching S is the uh, is the little laser, and that acts as a sweep because his two D is his uh, little meter mat. Yeah, interesting character with just with so many unique properties to them, and uh, and you see that they're setting up the EXE beast. They are very plus on block, so he gets to keep that pressure going. Oh, use the DP, but falls right into that whole mess of stuff there. That sucked. Oh, Testament's, Testament's got a little, uh, the, the succubus clapping for him. He did a good job. Aw. Nice job, honey. Good for you. Aw. <laughs> Testament. Get I, all I had a friend that would just clap for me whenever I went around fighting games. Uh, you changed it to friend. I was going to say, we all wish we had a succubus clapping for us, but that's a whole other context there. Anyways, uh, <laughs> into the action. Uh, <laughs> <and> the, succubus <laughs> is the, the succubus is the one that gives the overhead too, right? Yep, the succubus does the overhead. The the crow is the succubus. It turns into uh yes, turns into it. Uh, oh. but looks like we've got testament is is zoning Robokai out with his uh with his long range buttons, keeping him in that in that exe beast blender. Yeah, that seems like really hard for Robokai to deal with, especially since Robokai can, needs to get the momentum up before stuff can really start to happen for the character. But yeah, like, oh, gosh, the two H hidden missile comes down and hits Testament. <laughs> Wait, the, the the missile comes down actually when it goes up? Uh huh. If it's high enough level. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. I didn't know it takes that. Forever, but it does. That's so sick. <laughs> that's when he's uh, when he's over fifty percent. Yeah, or overheat. Yeah. That's so cool. I didn't know that the missile actually came back down. That makes sense because it's the it's, it's the it's the normal getting tweaked by the heat. Ah, what a yeah, cool character. So it's heat, not for that one. Yeah. Well, no, that's still really cool though. I'm I'm, I'm just oh, like there's that like... curse just sitting uh sitting there waiting for him. Uh, yeah. Testament will not hit you when you're crouching, but Testament can just walk up and do an overhead to force you to stand. So that I you block the curse. I feel like just even on a conceptual level, this matchup is so hard for Robokai because is a character that needs to get the resources going before you can get rolling yourself and testament's a character where unless you are oppressing them they can just get up their projectiles and their traps and then you're the one in the bad situation yeah it's very important to never let testament start setting up his game because he will just get a massive advantage over basically any character if he gets to set his card sitting on a perfect oh, right now there's uh testament's little teleport he has a a frame two counter that uh that in plus r he gained a version that does not do the counter but does just do the teleport yeah Ooh, oh and there's that there. great curse and we oh. get the overhead, but they block high. Yeah, nice and job there, Dr. Jumbo, blocking it. Wow, this I would not have been able to block that much. Dr. Jumbo's doing a very good job here of staying alive through all that pressure. By the XP beast. And Crazy Master Hand uh, takes it. All right. Dr. Jimbo played very well, but unfortunately, yeah, only one can advance, and Crazy Master Hand moves forward. That'll, no, be, crazy. That'll be Crazy Master Hand going up against... Teddy Tree Bark in the near future? Yeah, oh, it's, sorry, gonna go be, ahead. it's gonna be up against Teddy next, you're right. Yeah. All right. Okay, so so we're down to six. Uh, we've got uh, Nuclear Cheese and Tails in Winner's Finals. Um, we've got uh, Thelo, uh, uh, Thilo, Lem, uh, Teddy, and Crazy Master Hand uh, on the lower half of the bracket. Um, and let's see. Uh, what do we wanna, let's, we're gonna run uh, Thilo versus Lem uh, first. All right. So that'll be the Justice versus Cliff match. Yep. This is going to be the uh, this is going to be the the plus R special. All right. And I am back. I heard the words plus R special, so I assume the lobby has crashed. Uh, it, it has <laughs> not. I was I was saying that we were going to run uh, we were going to run Thilo and Lem. Ah, okay. So we're gonna we're gonna go to we're gonna we're gonna set up to loser semis, and then we'll run winners finals, and then we'll do winners. Losers grand or winners yep. semis, losers finals grants. Well, that's a much happier plus R uh, special than. You know. Oh yeah, way better. The true plus R special is bringing rollback netcode to a beloved game, uh, and <laughs> revitalizing the scene in a year where we need games to be revived with online play. A huge thank you for real to the rollback yeah, team, y'all. Thank you for making it so I will never, uh, so I get to never shut up about how much I love this game forever. <laughs> it's a fantastic game, and I'm really glad I'm again getting into it. And it looks like we're getting into this match right now with Lem's Cliff and Thilo's Justice in that plus R special. Ah, now, Thilo, look, it's capitalism versus communism. Um... <laughs> Yo, what? 
It do be capitalism versus communism. <laughs> I like Justice better as a character, but I'm sorry, Justice, you gotta die. Wait, so are Gundams capitalism here? Is that how this works? Well, I don't know how far we can extend this metaphor. <laughs> Uh, now, Thilo was our uh, was our second place uh, player for the event last week, so Thilo is is trying to get come back and uh, get his get his chance at nuclear cheese again. All right, let's see if uh, Thilo can overcome Lem here. Lo looks to be doing okay so far. Ooh, nuke pressure looks really hard for Cliff to deal with. I don't know how this yeah, character gets over it. Those nuclear blasts are so hard to deal with. On their eight hits, so they're very good at beating out other fireballs too. But he manages to get in. Let's see if he can get anything out of it. Nah, gets caught oh, by the reload button. Got by two D. That two D is very active. All right, getting ooh gets caught by the jump in there. Nukes are out on the screen there. Use the pull vault. You know the pull vault uh, gets it gets clipped by the nuke there, but it still closed the gap. Oh, nice ooh, counter. counter. The pull vault and oh, that was a good burst because that was going to be a lot of damage off of the counter. Yeah, for anybody watching there who's not used to watching Justice fight, when that tail goes up, that's a counter stance, and it's active for a long time. Yep, it is active from frames 9 to frames 28, so it is there for a while. 9 through 28? Wow. Yep. Uh, but it only counters mid mids and highs. You can throw her, and you can go low. Wow, are those on reaction to the pole vault? No, it's got to be expecting the pole vaults coming out, I imagine. That's still really good. Uh, Thilo's been very good for uh, both this and last event at, at sticking that counter out where uh, uh, right where... It's needed. All right, so if so, Lem, Ooh, Lem loses that one for the kill. So Thilo takes that that game there. I bet you we're going to see a much more conservative approach from Lem there. I'm my assumption is that Lem went a little wild there to just to see if that would work to be able to bully their way in, and now they're going to have to try to play a little bit more conservative to try to get the to try to get in past stuff. Like we saw, what three four vaults get called out there? Absolutely. So my, my expectation here is that we're going to see an adjustment from Lem, but see how it plays out. Now, the problem with playing conservative against Justice is those nuclear blasts do a lot of chip damage and build up so much guard bar. So uh, there's definitely some pressure to try and get in on her early end, and uh, that's oh. where the mistakes happen. Oh, 100% there. It just seemed like once the nukes were up, that Lem was just had like was being a little, maybe a little oh, too yellow. Can maybe? crouch under the Michael sword? What? Uh, this is an incredibly tiny character. So he, yeah. crouches, he crouches under a lot. Uh, the the big one I remember is uh, his standing animation crouches under Force Break Curse from Death. <gasps> gets the Dizzy! Oh, he gets the Dizzy, and there is a round over Othello. That Lem wins that so one fast. very convincingly. It looks like Lem, ha or Lem has been able to adjust. Oh no, he gets the nukes, nukes are started up on screen here. Just gonna, yeah, see? We're just walking through, just taking time. Gordon Block. Yeah. You'll take some damage, but as long as you can get in. I'm in no rush. It's like playing dodgeball against the person that you know that can't throw. <laughs> oh, the burst. Oh, uh, the counters. Wait, the, the counter stance crossed up. She yeah. was facing the other way. <laughs> I love it. That's a okay. ton of damage. Cliff, uh, Cliff is a featherweight and has very low defense, so... Oh, really? Yep. Uh, Cliff and Bridget are the two lightest characters in the game, I believe. Oh, oh, and there's no. the overhead, and just so one much will get Cliff. Just anything will tag him. Yeah, oh. even even if oh, Cliff just doesn't get set up a corner combo. Let's see if he oh, Let's go. gets hit by the uh, five P. Justice's standing jab is a two hit normal, and the second hit goes low. All right. Oh, oh it's by the corner the again. this is going to be a big chunk of damage. Sets the full screen as well, which is the even scarier part. Yeah, the damage hurts, but now you got to hold these nukes and then the walk up S. Ooh. Oh, but Riding. just get a hit, misses the uh, the OTG, but gets in there. Let's see if uh, Lem can do anything about Fellow's zoning. Gets caught Ooh, with the counter stand. Counters. Oh, manages to punish the counter full screen, and there is that uh that corner carry that Cliff is famous for. Just one nice. combo, and Thello is in the corner. Uh, now Cliff gets a full combo off throw. Yeah, so throws are throws very good for both of these characters. Very, what a peculiar matchup here too, because Cliff has such of these strange angles to advance here, and Lem sitting on uh, Death's door here, not able to hold too much more damage. One clean hit here oh, from uh, that'll do it. Thello beats Lem and advances. Thilo's Justice was able to take it over Lem, and Thilo advancing uh, back up 
through the bracket, trying to see if they can... Castillo was second place, you said, previously, right? Uh, yep, fellow second place previously. Seeing fellow if they can... Knock me out. Seeing if they can get back up there and reclaim the uh, the secondary throne, if you will. But Lem played pretty well there, was able to make some some sort of adjustment occur there in the first round of that last game, but unfortunately, uh, Thilo's justice was a little too strong. And who do we have up next? We got Teddy Treebark going up against Crazy Master Hand. Looks like that's going to be our next match here. So this is the complete opposite of fighting the Robokai in a certain respect, because the Robokai needs that time to get the pressure up, whereas Milia's just on you like that. So let's get down to it. All right, so Testament's traps i imagine should do a decent job of stalling out some of the ways that milia can approach if he can get them up just like her air mo just because the traps being on the screen i imagine will restrict her air mobility to some degree yep milia's gonna have to get in there early or else uh, it's gonna be really hard for her to play play her neutral game but testament is not very good on defense Ooh, so bad, so yeah. as long as she can get the knockdown she would she should be able to win Leaves a pin behind there, just going to try to push the pressure in here, gets that bad move to the knockdown. There's the disc, swaps oh, to the other side. Bro, and uh, this is this is that Milia mix-up that she's so famous for in every Guilty Gear game. Milia is is the purest example of a Guilty Gear character. She just wants to put you or knock you down and then put a fireball over you and make you guess. Yeah, it feels like it's a two-player game when she's got you in that mix, but mm, maybe maybe a little less so than you, than you think. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, tries to get in here once more with this air dash, follows, follows it on in with the pressure there. Nice, gets that. Now, it didn't work. It didn't work out crazy master hand, but the 2-H round start uh, will actually beat a lot of moves because 2-H is randomly invulnerable or invulnerable for uh, Testament in the middle. Oh, oh yep. yeah, that's like the power slide looking thing, right? Yep, uh, when, he is, when he is faded out, he is invisible. Nice, uh, strong tactic there, but didn't work out in that particular exchange, as you po pointed out. Oh, Ooh, nice, uh, used the Roman Cancel to keep at the pressure here, but... Yep, oh. put Crazy into the corner and uh, gets a knockdown, and what is the mix-up? Goes low, goes low again, out, goes high, out, goes high, and this should kill. Pushes back into the corner here, doesn't quite get the kill, able to close it out with a low, though, at the end of the day. Teddy wins the first game. Teddy takes the round one over Crazy Master Hand. He's getting right back into it. We're not waiting. And the lobby gods have blessed us. The player names and the players stay on the same side. Bless. I, thank I you, would ag lobby. Again, thank you to the lobby gods. Thank you to the dev team. I choose to believe this was personally a hot fix that I didn't even need to update. None of us needed <laughs> to update and apply. They just heard and they saw in the Discord, and that's how I'm taking it. This they is a hot fix for us personally. They did that for us. Uh, <laughs> all right, uh, anyway, Teddy right getting, a, getting a really early hit on Crazy, gets a throw, uh, drops the combo, but manages to push him into the corner all the same. Yeah, pushed in the corner here, goes for the hairpin, hairpin gets blocked here. Crazy Master Hand able to get an air juggle, able to catch for a little bit more on the back end there. Ties Ooh. up the damage, and uh, Milia, uh, Milia is currently without her pin, which is a little scary for her, especially now that she is blocking Testament, but Dead Angle's out, gets the knockdown, and Milia's going to play her game. Yeah, pushed into the corner here now. Oh, gets caught into the launch here. Gets that J2H into the force break oh. disc. There's Ooh, the knockdown. What's the mix-up? It's Bad Moon. But uh, Crazy Master Hand doing a pretty okay job at blocking, but you can't block everything Millie is doing. Mm-hmm. Catches the throw there. You know, we haven't oh. seen any... I'm wondering if uh, maybe Crazy Master Hand could be trying a dead angle attempt or something like that. Uh, ooh, gets caught by the throw, though. And Teddy's just one round away from advancing. Crazy Master Hand going to have to... Uh, Gonna have to switch or change things up a bit if he wants to uh, take it over Teddy. Yeah, it's just, the scariest thing is when you know when a million player knows that their momentum is working on you and they know that you're not quite sure how to halt their momentum. It just feels so oppressive being on the back foot there and not knowing what to do about it. Absolutely, Amelia definitely wants to make this a single player game. Yeah, or even if you know or have an idea of what to do, she just has so many different ways to try to approach and shift things up. It's extremely hard to deal with. Ooh, the bad moons just keep on Look coming. Look at that bad moons. Oh, and Crazy Master Hand in a bad position here. Uh, just one more hit, and he will uh, be knocked out of the event, I believe. It's cut oh, and there's the throw, and this should do it. Uh, Blackbeat, but combos all the same, and Teddy Treebark takes it. 
Teddy Tree Bark advances in, or advances upwards, stays alive, and that'll be Milia versus Justice for our next match from Teddy Tree Bark whenever that one goes down. Up. All right. All so, right. our top four uh, we got Nuclear Cheese on Soul, we got Tails on Anji, we got uh, Thilo on Justice, and we got Teddy Tree Bark on Milia. So, we got a nice four character spread across the remaining players in the bracket, and we'll just see how our TOs want to run that. Yep, uh, we're Oof. gonna we're gonna do our winners finals right now. Um, ah, so, well then I should uh, mute. Yeah, get out of here, Tails. Get out of here. Go play your game. Get out of here. We're gonna do nuclear cheese and uh, Tails. This will be a. This is a some vintage New England. Um, nice. There's a there is a there's a little part of me that that is extremely <laughs> extremely thrilled that. The online uh, net play tournament for New England actually has New England players in in winners finals. <laughs> uh, that's it's always the intimidating. Oh gosh, please don't let us get waxed by out of staters exclusively. But uh, here we are. So 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 for me, the the New Englander, I'm thrilled. Uh, for for two people that I've known in the scene for a while, I'm thrilled. I know they're going to mm -hmm. put on a banger of a match. Yeah, and absolutely. And either way, if they're both from New England, uh, whether it's uh, whether it's Tails, or whether it's nuclear cheese, you'll have at least one of them in grand finals here. But for now, let's see which one of it's, which one it is going to be. So we got Anji versus Soul here. Both players with invincible options on wake up to try to advance out of pressure here. So that might change up how this match plays out mm -hmm. compared to how we saw some of the other matches with nuclear cheese. Right. So, and I mean the thing the thing to consider is that you know something like a you know as we saw in some of uh, Tails's previous matches, the way that butterfly works with the, with the two hit system means that. Uh, uh, just doing Volcanic Viper Raw isn't necessarily the greatest uh, option for uh, mm -hmm. Cheese on Wake Up, right? Because he's still going to get hit by the second hit of that, just like uh, Kai was with, with Vapor Thrust, but I couldn't remember the mm -hmm. name of it. Uh, so so, so I'm, I'm curious kind of how Hales is going to have to, you know, change, uh, how uh, Cheese will have to change his Wake Up game. He might not have to at all if he keeps Ooh. running through Tails like this, though. Yeah, that looks pretty rough there for uh, Tails, but Nuclear... We'll see if Tails can make the adjustment. If, uh, mm -hmm. It seems like a long-time uh, member of the FGC, and yep. people who've been around for a while can oh, yeah. usually figure out an adjustment mm -hmm. uh, a little bit better than sometimes uh, new folks can. Yeah. But we'll see how this plays out. Yep. You've also got that. You've also got those interactions that you only kind of you know get to know after you've played with somebody for, for years and years and years. This, mm -hmm. though, perfect. That is the combo that you want. Has to block on Wake Up. Ooh, but see, yeah, if he, if he hits Anji... That butterfly does go away, so we can sweep yeah. him with a 2D just like that, and then he gets his he gets the punish. Soul coming in here, here with his pressure. There's the wild throw. Gonna be able to convert this into a combo here. There's the first side winder. There. Yep. Ooh, not Doesn't even get quite the get clean the second hit one. on the second one. Yeah. Because the DP into the knockdown. What's it gonna be after this? Ooh, gets the crossover. Still Doesn't have, not able to catch a block there. Ah, gets caught with the bandit. Uh, yep, that is that. That is the mm -hmm. kicker. Fujin's got that. Fujin's got that. That horizontal, right, you know, invul. But for something that's so active for so long, like Riot Stamp, it's it's a perfect response. Whew. Unfortunate for Tails, but still has. Uh, oh, and this is first to three now too. Yeah, we're in the finals. Yep, this is three out of five. All right, first to three. So that's game one. Tails has some time to try to figure this out here. So we'll see what it's going to be. Mm -hmm. Oh, Are they uh, picked the stage with Hype Dog, which was the, absolutely the correct choice. Yo, Hype Dog, let's go. Speaking of Hype Dog, uh, it's getting around dinner time over here, Ooh. so you might hear my Hype Dog in the background. I heard your, <laughs> I heard your Hype Dog earlier. Oh, wow, good. scooped his burst like that. That's always a rough way to start a round, but that's a great way to respond to it. Yeah, Tails uh, got scooped by that, got the burst scoop there, but able to turn it around into some nice damage and corner carry. Mm -hmm. Nuclear Cheese fighting out of the corner now, though. Oh, catch is pushing the corner here. Get the first hit on the Sidewinder. Gets another Sidewinder. What's going to be? We got another. How many more of these we got? Get about three in a combo is, I think, the standard, unless you've got a, unless you got a lot of meter to do something. Gotcha. Oh, okay. Maybe I'm wrong. No, yeah, the, the fourth one there wasn't, wasn't, wasn't a clean Yo, hit, so it wasn't working. Catches the DP afterwards, too? Shot. Oh. oh, no. The air super down into the gun flame. I think he wanted that, it a little bit later. Yeah, that seemed like it was uh, timed as such that that didn't seem like it was an intentional play of it. Mm. Conceptually oh, as a punish, I loved it. Oh, goes to stuff the 2D early that time. Yo, hops to the other side there. Oh, nice, that guard point eating all of that. Yep, totally worth it. Slides on through. Sitting on a perfect right now. Ooh, not anymore. The old curse. 
Yeah, called it out. Unfortunate. Yep. Yep. There's a gun flame cr crushing on through. Blocks the ride stop there. Oh, going on in. Just goes for the air dash with the uh, JPs there. Not able to get anything out of it. Butterfly goes through the Grand Viper. Okay. Yep. Was it too low to the ground, maybe? Because it low profiles a bunch? I think, I yeah. Yeah, Grand Viper is very, very low to the ground. So it'll low profile, low profile projectiles like that. Doesn't matter, though. Tails is going to seal the deal. Gets that nice round on the there, board. Tails. Gets around the board here. Yeah, gets some momentum going. Yep. Maybe able to turn this into a game here. Mm -hmm. Let's see what happens. Yep. Phantom through. Ooh, nice. Back dashes away from the air normal uh, approach. So able to not get stuff there. Oh, no. Gets caught with a juggle. No. Okay, not able to convert it into a juggle. Had the guard going there, but uh, got stuffed after the fact from the Fujin. Nice block on the... Ooh. Nice... Uh, gets a gets the block on the clean hit there for um for that sidewinder combo and is able to switch it over. Nice. Like a hit grab there? Is that like a fan special? Yeah. Yep. That's a. Nice. That's yeah. You can use that as a combo ender to reset. Uh, get your pressure. Um, and it was looking great there, but uh, you know, got clipped again by the 2D uh, while the butterfly was still coming down. That's the punch nice. they were looking for earlier. They were looking for earlier. Gets to the other side too. Oh, running back to the ground here. Gets gun flamed. Oh, nice. Uses the burst there, but then caught by the follow up pressure there. I. I love nuclear cheese, just always forward momentum. Like I know gear is a game where you want to be aggressive pretty mm -hmm. much all the time, mm -hmm. but nuclear cheese is. Maybe this is the way that, that you're supposed to be playing Soul, and I'm just now cluing into this, but it's mm -hmm. like constantly threading the needle with forward pressure. I love mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Nuclear Cheese has a, a very strong... Uh, he's always going in. Uh, you know, it's it's a very aggressive... Uh, the gag uh, that I knew, and you know, when I, I met him as an Exerd Soul first, you know, first, and, and the joke was always that he played uh, he played Netplay Soul in person, and somehow it worked every single time. Uh, <laughs> ah, okay. Yeah, I'm with you. <laughs> and I like, I get it now. You know, like, I, I get it now. Like, I, I'm looking at this damage, and I, I I get it. Yeah, look at that casual, what, 60 per... 40... No, not 60, like 50% damage there on that yep. life bar? Mm -hmm. Huge. All right, there goes the butterfly there, able to get dodged. Whew, caught by the sweep there. Gun flame, forced to block it. Falls up there, just keeping up with this pressure here. Not a whole lot of mix there on that sequence, just trying to push towards the corner and maintain oh, the perfect. plus frames. Yep. And that's exactly what I was talking about earlier with that butterfly. Just absolutely blows up that, that DP, no problem. <laughs> this is the wild nuclear cheese in his natural habitat theater. <laughs> oh, gets called out there by the tyrant rave and gets stuffed. Unfortunate. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice Fujin. Has the corner pressure here? Just gets knocked right out of the corner though. Nuclear cheese. Uh, nuclear cheese ad advances as if they are not in the corner, even when they are in the corner. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Like I don't did, did they not did they not know that their backs to the never look back so you don't know your backs to the wall? That's Is that how trick. it goes? That's the that's the that's the true tech. Y'all were trying to wow. tap throws, you needed to learn this mental tech instead. Oh <laughs> what a response! Nice! Tails takes around there. With the super, love it. Oh nice. Whoa, tries to get the gets a what, rising super jump button, but then uh, doesn't catch anything, then air dash back air dashes back at nuclear cheese from the other side after the normal recovered. Love it. Right. Oh, Himbo Hurricane's out on the screen. Doesn't quite work out, though. Well, I've never heard that before in my life, but it's my favorite thing now. <laughs> oh, sorry. It's the only thing I've called it with some people I've been playing with. It's, I, it's, it's, nope. It's my favorite. It's, it's in the lexicon now. It's canon. Uh, it's true. Okay, love it. All right, we're <laughs> one mix-up away. Oh, blocks all that, but unfortunately gets caught by the wild throw afterwards. Oh, there's the sidewinder. Mm -hmm. Another one. We got a full bar on deck here, he, too. No, he doesn't have the full combo. <gasps> Tries to make <gasps> into a reset. <gasps> Block the Titan Rave. Oh, boy. Gets gold burst here. Oh, he's oh, got so much bar. Here. Oh, he's got so much bar. The fact that Tails oh. is still somehow staying alive. Oh, just like that. Close out. Mm. Nuclear Cheese takes it 3-0 over Tails. Tails fought well, but unfortunately, Nuclear Cheese just too strong and was able to take it. That cheese was truly nuclear. Truly, this is some irradiated cheddar. <laughs> the oh. fish and brie. <laughs> I, I like that. <laughs> oh my gosh, uranium thirty-four broke for I don't I don't know. Um, that was a stretch, but I like it. I, like I, it I, I uh, we're it's, oh. all right. So that was nuclear cheese taking it over tails. Nuclear mm -hmm. cheese is going to be chilling in grand finals. Uh, in, lo in loser semis, we have Philo versus Teddy Treebark, so we're going to have Justice versus Milia. Winner of that, going back up against Tails here. Uh, so, looks like we already got our players for the next match in the room. Thank you so much for joining us and writing 
sticking with us on this wild ride tonight, folks. We've had lore, we've had uh, cheese discussion, and now we're getting back into the next match. <laughs> well, now we're going to get to see uh, Amelia versus Justice. Justice doesn't have the best defensive tool, so if she gets knocked down, she's going to be in trouble. But her damage is very high, and Amelia does not have much health. Uh, we play that play that really well there, Tails. Uh, I was I had first time I've seen Anji played uh, that effectively on a stream uh, that I was involved in, so that was really cool to see. So <laughs> big thanks to you. They also established a new canon name for that super, which is the Himbo Hurricane, uh, which I'm <laughs> using from now on for the till the end of time. Oh, uh, I'm sorry that super has been uh, become a taco for 12 years now, and I'm not changing it. <laughs> well, I'm not trying to start a fight here. I'm just trying to comment. <laughs> <laughs> we got the J2H into the knockdown. There's the fourth. We there's did. the disc into the combo. Uh, oh, this sucks. Ooh, this is exactly what no. This is exactly what Millia needs to be doing to win this round. We got the secret garden as well there to ensure that the uh, the pickup off of the overhead, since you can't normally combo off that overhead unless she has something else there to set it up. And that uh, secret garden was able to do it, and that set up for that last sequence there. <sighs> Rough. Ooh, and Teddy takes the first round rather convincingly. Mm -hmm. And this is back down to first to two, since we are in the semifinals, so only not, not too many games here for Thilo to try to figure this out. Now, uh, since I, I has Teddy, Teddy doesn't, hasn't played with your scene before, right? So Teddy's a relatively new, relatively newcomer here? Uh, to the scene, yes, but I do believe most of our extra players have at least played with Teddy online. <laughs> gotcha, yeah, I know Teddy's not, not new to, 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 to gear, but to the plus R uh, with y'all, but cool. Uh, yeah, I've seen him twice in ranked, but I've not gotten to play any sets with him yet. Yeah, I think this Ooh. is the I think this is the the first or second time Teddy has entered a a, a Boston Blue Bee tournament. Uh, gotcha. So it's really cool to see him here. The yeah, fires back there. I am glad the online is good enough that we can have players from uh, outside Massachusetts. All right, nukes on the screen there, covering the advance. Oh, get the get caught up with the air nuke. Oh no, not quite able to catch it with the uh, hairpin. Who stand on top here? Your bad moon for the okay, knockdown and the knockdown screen. and what's the mix up? Not uh nothing, but hits with the disc anyway. There's a two K, and this should bring Justice right back to the corner, but it actually puts her mid screen. Uh bad moon and disc. Hmm. Well, Philo in a rough spot here, but uh Philo taking that taking that center spot and setting up some nukes, which is exactly what Justice needs to be doing. Oh, nice. Hit the combo here and a good chunk of damage. You're going to get feed into the knockdown here and has a full stick of bar, too. So not without options here is Thilo. Yep, there's the Michael Blade, which we figured out blades are stronger than swords earlier. Thanks, Rain. <laughs> Thilo able to close it out there, though, with that air button afterwards, calling out and catching Teddy Treebark to jump in. Uh, I'm going to... I'm gonna hop out of the stream for just a second. I think my uh, I think I'm lagging behind a few a few seconds. I'll be right back in here with you. Okay. No worries. Yeah, uh, I know that's been the case sometimes before. There's been a a little bit of a desync uh, with the uh, with the share, so I might reset it after this match uh, for for our commentators. If you guys are feeling like oh, I think a little bit off. Well, we'll see if uh, I'm back now. I had like a momentary uh, blip, so may have just been okay. my side, but okay. we'll yeah get back into it here. So Thilo's sitting up a up a game. Teddy Tree Barks having to try to get the game get the game going here. I feel like Thilo figured out the approach there from Teddy Tree Barks, so Teddy's gonna have to find the adjustment here to um, navigate through those nukes and not let that distance get established. Absolutely. Uh, and Teddy is currently doing exactly what Teddy wants to be doing and setting up that corner mix against Justice, but gets thrown out of it. And Justice's gonna do a chunk of damage with that throw. Mm -hmm. Wow, just throwing out those swords, okay. Uh, now, Justice is tied with Potemkin for the largest throw range in the game, but unlike Potemkin, Justice gets a full combo meterless off her throw. That's really sick. Teddy Treebark it was able to get a throw there and convert it into a combo and drive towards the corner. Didn't have quite enough to close it out, though. It does have a full stick of bar, though. Wouldn't be surprised if we see a metered option here to try to maintain the momentum. Oh, and... Oh, no, I was looking at the wrong meter there. My mistake. <laughs> that was Stilo with a full stick of bar, not, not Teddy Treebark. And uh, both players very close to death, but Teddy Treebark ekes in there and gets the round over Thilo. Alright, Teddy Treebark sitting with burst ready, Thilo with no burst on deck here, so whatever pressure comes up, if Teddy Treebark's able to establish it, Thilo's gonna have to hold for at least a hot minute. Is Milia still doing that little hand, wet, or, uh, hand wiggle for her uh, standing animation in Exert? Because I dig it a lot. I like Milia's standing animation. Oh, I wish she I hope she does. Her look in this game is phenomenal. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, backing away from those uh, nukes there. Not needing to risk too, too much here. Has the life lead, so so long as there's not a ton of meter being built there by Thilo uh, with these options, not the scariest, scariest thing. Oh, no, it's going to be a chunk of damage. Yeah, oh, wow, it's like a third of her health bar there. Yep. Uh, Trying to chill it in. One more hit, but uh, Tree Bark has got the... Oh, we do not get the Michael Blade reversal. Uh, Justice gets hit, but here is the throw. Teddy's going to need to burst. That was a good burst. I love that disc on the Michael Blade uh, when that came out there because the disc was able to stay active long enough to hit after the Michael Blade's invulnerability. That was really nice. And then Teddy Tree Bark is able to close it out with that last Bad Moon mix-up. And we are 1-1 one, one now. 1-1 one, one in loser semis. I like it. Let's go. All right. So both players have clearly shown that they have what it takes to knock the other one out and take rounds here. So this next match here, anyone's anyone's game. I was about to say anyone's ball game, but then I'm like, why must we compare ourselves to regular sports? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. sports are electronic. I've been playing an absurd amount of baseball uh, this year, so that's all I can think of. <laughs> I got into it around season seven, and then I got overwhelmed with some real life stuff, but I really like it. Uh, which team do you support? Uh, Boston Flowers, because Massachusetts. Oh, for sure. I'm a Hawaii Fridays fan, just because that's vibes, you know? <laughs> that is very fair. Uh, <laughs> and it looks like Fellow's got the life advantage here. I'm going to have to change the topic, or else I will talk nonstop about baseball. <laughs> no, I feel you. I feel you. Oh, we should put, put, put Guilty Gear character names into the name generator next season. Uh, anyways, uh, so Teddy Tree Bark's got burst here on deck. Uh, out of meter, though. Catches with a rising normal there, but not able to get much else out of it. Ooh, gets the run up. Nice throw tech there. You'd love to see a Guilty Gear throw tech. You Catches do. with the anti air. I believe a two frame window in this game. Yeah, two frames. It's not something it's... to do on purpose. <laughs> Well, it's either extremely on purpose or not at all on purpose. <laughs> uh, catches with the uh, airstream here, able to turn it into a knockdown there. There's oh, the bad moon. Oh, no! The, the, the blade! The blade calls out the bad moon! Blades beat moons. Blades beat moons. Blades beat moons. It's true. That's the hidden uh, rock, paper, scissors tech they don't tell you about. <laughs> <laughs> right. The nukes are on. A lot of things in rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> uh, both sides out. Here, uh, gets the force break disc into a little bit of an extension, not too much else. Gets the JS, but not able to turn it into a combo afterwards. Getting zoned out here by these nukes. The Teddy Tree Bark might be having trouble dealing with these nukes and turning it. Oh no, Ooh, goes, goes for the fastball, but eats that enormous juggle. Oh, Teddy Tree Bark, and this uh, good burst, but ooh, never mind, baited, and Thello will uh, take it and advance to losers finals. Thello takes it over Teddy Treebark. Teddy Treebark fought very well, but unfortunately, Thello's justice was two on the money and territory defended. I think this is not all New England uh, top three? Uh, no, Thello is apparently oh. from Montreal, I believe. Oh, Illinois. Montreal? Yep. So nor Northeast, Northeast. It's yeah. new if New York can claim Japanese players, then we're allowed to. <laughs> That's not fair. New York will claim any player who has won an event. <laughs> <laughs> I did not know that that, that Thello was uh, uh, Montreal. My apologies there. I thought no, you no, were no, uh, part of the New England group. Yeah. Uh, Yo, I believe that means I'm up again. You are. Yo, no apologies, Teddy. You played very, very well. We got apologizing for play? Never. Not allowed. <laughs> All right. So we're going to have Fellow versus Tails coming up here. Uh, we'll have JMD being our TO and also joining for commentary here for this next match. Yeah. And uh, yo, big ups to the TOs running this event too. Uh, I know that uh, y'all are, some of y'all are in the chat and I know that you're here with me on chat, but you know, appreciate it always. Wouldn't have these events if folks didn't organize it and make it happen. Yeah, I know we have a we have a great scene up here in Massachusetts. I, you know, I, I give a shout out to the other people who work on the Boston Blue Beat staff. Uh, Teto. Um, is one of the nicest people that I've you know ever ever met, ever had the pleasure to work mm -hmm. with. Uh, absolute legend. Uh, I would like to give a shout out to uh, Thantis, who's going to be running the uh, the uh, Blaze Blue stream that will run tomorrow night. Um, and I'm going to shout out a few more people later, but right now I'm going to be quiet. We're going to watch this sick match between Thalo and Tales of Dawn, a run back from last week. Let's go. Yeah, this was a run back from last week to get to the same person in first place, if I recall correctly. Mm -hmm. Yep. So this is a and this is a this is a we this is a double a, a double double run back, I suppose, because because yeah, we in and out. Let's yeah, go. I was gonna say because Thilo Thilo knocked Tails out last year. 
or last year wow last week even uh last week 2020 and then yeah, it feels like it uh last week and then uh and then this week you know uh tails was the person to knock the into losers so there's a uh, both sides mm -hmm. got that red butterfly got out there crunch. oh nice cactus the unblockable with the red butterfly as well good, good stuff yep, nice stomp oh cool getting pushed back here mm -hmm. Got pushed back to the full screen here. Has to find a way back in here, and uh, Fellow has full meter. Ooh, be able to Fujin through and yeah, stuff him. Yeah. Nice. It gets to that time, isn't able to. The I think it was a little too far out. That even if you even if there was a release, the hitbox wouldn't have wouldn't have clipped Anji mm -hmm. in that case. So worked out perfectly. Butterfly off screen gets the hit, gets the juggle. Oh, nice! Catches it into the uh, combo ender as well to give the proper setup for the butterfly. Ah, gets that back dash though. Justice has one of the better back dashes in the game, if I recall. Mm -hmm. Okay, blocks the nuke there. Got that 2S with the long fingernails just points out way far. Again, trades with that Fujin. Goes immediately into the parry stance. Bait in, nice. In. Nice. Great response. That's that's a hard read. That is... Oh, oh and it no, will beat a super one. two. Yo, that counter stance has gotten so much mileage for Thello this uh this set. I mean, really, this tournament, but that right there as well. <gasps> oh, and didn't FD the nuke and gets chipped out. All right. Getting back into it here. Catches with a sweep. And also we are back up into three out of five since this is loser's final. So this is going to be a first to three match here. So both sides will have a, a little bit of a time to make the adjustments as necessary. Maybe find a way to not get caught by that counter stance so much. Jeez, it's doing so much. You know, then again, like, that's the way you got to play Anji though, right? Mm -hmm. You, you got to make sure that you're staying in and yeah. using your Fujin. So maybe you just have to accept that you're going to eat that counter stance sometimes. You gotta, you got, yeah, you kind of want to, and you want to mix it up so that, you know, your, your Fujins aren't, you don't want to only approach via, with Fujin or only approach with one technique in any game, right? And, and Tails right. knows that. Um, Fujin's such a strong option oh, uh, for Anji, but, but now it's, you know, one of those things that Thilo knows to look for it. It says, okay, Tails is consistently approaching me with Fujin. I can look for those startup frames, mm -hmm. get into my counter stance, and then I'll be good. And I just kind of have to, I have to wait. It's, you know, it's, um... It's it's a it, you know I feel like it's a similar issue that like a lot of like command dash characters or characters with uh, really strong punishes moves that kind of take a while to really like rev up like mm -hmm. that um, have where you know you've got to make sure that your opponent doesn't get a read on you like that or or it's yeah. just all they have to do is do that justice gets so much damage off that punish too it's not just a reset right you know like it's you're eating you know thir you know forty percent every single time right so, right. And like that's kind of like the justice thing, right? Kind of crunches a uh, matchup down into uh, some very base components because it's like, well, there's nukes. I have my counter stance, and you got to find your way to deal with those. So, and uh, that was the fellow taking game one. So mm -hmm. we'll see if Tails is able to find a way to get back mm -hmm. from this after avenging themselves earlier. Mm -hmm. Can after Tails avenged themselves, can fellow avenge themselves? A whole lot of avenging going on back it's, and forth. It's here. it's really this is the true end game, if if you will. Um. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I see what you did. I, uh, there's I'm, the butterfly on the bad. I'm a bad person. No, that's okay. That's okay. There are far worse. <laughs> uh, both sides here uh, jockeying for position. Oh no, never mind. I said both sides jockeying for position, but that is not the case here whatsoever. Uh, that's tails here establishing a lot of momentum and pressure here. Gets oh. caught from the back end with the Michael sword. Yeah, come that, on. That's that's. It's just a line. It's just a line. It's the big long line, but catches him with that sweep. That it looks like to us. Is it justice or mere vengeance? Flack, I gotta tell you, it might even be revengeance. Oh no. <laughs> There's a butterfly out there once more, covering the wake up. Goes for the Fujin there. This seems. Hmm. It's gonna try to carry him all the way to the corner, yep. The, the fact that justice can. All the way down. Yep, go the ahead. The fact that justice can backdash out of the butterfly, like, does, is there anything that Anji can do to call that out? That just seems really, really strong and strong for justice and annoying for uh, Anji to deal with. Yeah. Oh, just, nice. Art. It is. It is nice one art. of those things that is just an extremely frustrating, you know, kind of matchup specific situation. You know, characters with extremely powerful backdashes historically a thing, always kind of in guilty gear, um, and it feels like you know a fighting mm -hmm. game trope in general and. And yeah, you can you can right get out again. of it for free, but it, you, you saw there already adjusting. Tails going for the rush down immediately after says, "Okay, you're gonna backdash my butterfly. I'm gonna run after you and try to punish that backdash as well." Wasn't able to get there in time in this case, but definitely has it on deck for the future and closed out that round really solidly, showing a lot of learning from that first match.
Yeah, and was still able to, like, maintain the, like, even if there wasn't, like, a solid punish off of that, it mm -hmm. maintained the pressure afterwards and didn't let Justice get the nuke game up, which in a certain respect is as valuable as the damage. Right. I mean, obviously, you want the damage on top of that, but we're more than willing to take, uh, to take plus frames if we can't get damage. Oh, yeah. And also, too, this is one of those things as well, which I always love in the, fight, in the fighting game scene, and it seems like, oh, it's people play all the time and stuff like that. When you have two players who have something to prove, and they're players who have played each other and know their games inside and out, it's a always very nice to see because you can see a lot of layers to the decision making process or maybe they're just throwing random fujins i don't know i choose to think that there's a decision making process <laughs> all right uh burst there to push off oh stuff by another micro blade there get some nukes on the screen here push away rough push them all the, the way there here good uh blocks the butterfly there oh the butterfly hit i don't know if that came down and missed yeah. What is that TK move with that orb there? That seems really good. Oh, that little guy right there? Yeah. He's got, so he, you, you've, uh, so you've seen a different version of that too, where he carries them all the way up and then he does that in the air and, and just beans them to the ground. Mm -hmm. um, it's just, it's just a, it's a very, it's, it's kind of a, I wouldn't say it's, it's, it's a super fast overhead, but it's a TK overhead that Anji has access to. Um, it's gotcha. it's okay. not necessarily the safest thing in the world, which is why Tails is using it kind of sparingly. And every time he uses it, it's like it's like that little sneaky little thing that you know totally works perfectly on point. It's the move. It's it's to me, it comes across as the sort of thing where someone says, "Please stop doing that," and then you gotcha. Do it. Okay. The orb overhead is a TK. It's very unsafe unless you RC it. Gotcha. Okay. You okay. Cool. Convert Thanks. Okay, well, I don't know what, what Kagura's Katamos is, unfortunately, Flack, but I, I respect you, yeah, you for um, providing in the, the heads up. <laughs> I'm a little lost there, too. Uh, Thello able to take that round there, making it 1-1 one, one here. Trying to figure out these matchups as well here, uh, just because there's some moves here that I'm, I'm still getting used to seeing, so mm -hmm. the information's yeah, nice both of these characters, Yeah, and both of these characters are, you know, they weren't in uh, Exert. For, so for a lot of players, these are these are the first time that people are seeing, well, oh, unless they saw so them in Strive, in the Strive teaser, I guess, so, you know, but... A lot of people first yeah, time yeah. seeing Justice Anji and everything in action, so no worries. So, and what, what you were talking about earlier uh, from what Flak Maniac said can't mm -hmm. be uh, where it can't be converted and it's very unsafe unless you RC it. Mm -hmm. We saw us er we saw earlier in this round, mm -hmm. uh, Tails went for the, it's called Shin Nishiki. Mm -hmm. uh, so sh Tails went for it, but then got hit, but then immediately burst. So kind of had mentally with the burst on deck mm -hmm. that if this gets blocked, I'm going to eat something. So I got to be ready to burst right afterwards. Oh, perfect. Baits the parry perfectly right there. Finally, just let him, let him do nothing. Oh, <gasps> oh no, get stuff Work in his favor. Oh, that's so unfortunate too. Cause like if that had come out, that might've been able to do it. But the mm -hmm. justice, the Michael sword just reached just a little too far and stuffed it. Got him. Got him. All right, that's uh, Thello. No, two it's, one. Uh, this is uh, yeah, up two one. Yeah, I was gonna say no, no, no. It's not. It's three out of five. Oh no, 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 we're not, we're not, we're not done yet. We're not, we're done. not done. We're, done. we're not done. Oh no, we, we keep going. Tails is so that's yeah, it's mm -hmm. two one. Tails still has a chance to try to run this back, but looking a little dicey at the moment. And looking great right there though at the start. That's the Ooh. inverse commentator's curse. That's what we call that. I love it. Great. Ooh. Prove me wrong. That's really all I want as a commentator. I just want to be surprised, you know? Yeah. Nice. Push it back in here. Catches with the ender. What's the setup going to be? Oh, wow. He just doesn't even, like, wait for the second butterfly hit. Just stuffs right afterwards. Nice spacing there to, to keep that a little awkward to try to punish it. Look like. Great job with that. Oh. Oh. Tried to time oh, it, I think, just a little late, but that move is, that parry is just so active. Yeah, it's a full, like, 19 frames. That's mm -hmm. good stuff. How many three-frame normals in that, for comparison, just to give you an idea? <laughs> yeah, you can get nine three-frame normals in there. <laughs> oh, nice. Gets the scoop afterwards on the other end. Good stuff. Nice. Finally, uh, working working around that parry, not getting hit, you know, a, as much by it. Still still an option, but but now now ready to react. Is that full right, screen? Yep. Oh, no. Gets caught by the throw into the combo here. Mm -hmm. Gonna be a nice knockdown as well. We're gonna get some nukes on deck. No, just uh, plays it with the Michael Blade. Oh, gets stuffed for it. That time goes catches with the stone. Catches it. Yep. That's a that's a large health discrepancy. Mm -hmm. Oh no, gets snagged after the yep, great burst. Definitely, definitely good call on the burst. There's the trade for it. Knew that the yep. uh, ex uh, 
Michael Blade was going to come out there. So Chuck's the uh, Himbo Hurricane, but unfortunately got stuffed afterwards. I'm using the wrong title from what Tails wanted. Tails, don't come after me. You don't know where I live. You can't find me. Having to just duck underneath all this <laughs> being patient. Nukes on the screen. He's like, what if I don't? Oh, very nice. Oh, it gets the pickup. Really? That pickup there after the sides got weird? That was so nice. That was so clean. And Tails says, no, 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 no. I want my run back. I want it. I want it. I crave it. Give me the run back. Give me the run back I deserve. I must show nuclear cheese that his... <laughs> I, 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 I didn't have anything on deck. I where are we going? Where are we going, going with this? We're not going anywhere. We're going to go right back. We're, you know where we're going? We're going back into this match between Phil and back Tales into of Dawn. It's been sick. It is 2-2 two -two for all the marbles. Loser of this match is going back to the, the they're staying in their chair i mean they're not going home but like loser, loser of this match is going to is going to stream chat winner of this match advances to grand finals let's there you go go all right whoa goes underneath gets to the other side there able to turn this into a conversion blocks the butterfly mm -hmm. oh catches with the low there that might have been the back dash attempt maybe mm -hmm. maybe might have caught it or maybe a different normal was meant to come out there yeah, might, not sure might, might be figured he's he's working around he's adapting Again, that nuke pressure. Oh no, that's so much damage there because that the laser scoops up and picks up OTG. So even if the after the nuke hit there, that laser just swoops on up. Mm -hmm. What's been able to do quite enough damage here. Tails sitting on barely any health. So even if has to use this meter for FD, no, gets caught with the that, that's a uh, the justice uh, pseudo DP, isn't it? Yep, that's a little a little weirdo tail flip. If I see three Michaels and men, why does he call the other Raphael and Gabriel? Okay, good. <laughs> yes, I too. So, something I want to point out there that Thelo just did too. And this is this is a, a a player mind game tool that you use that even if it's not necessarily the smartest thing, mm -hmm. closes the round with the DP and then open the next round with the DP. Oh, love that. Oh, gets the stagger perfect on that. Knows that even if that super trades, it still leaves your opponent in so much stun for so long that you can keep your keep your game rolling. Mm -hmm. It's really nice when you when you know that you have those sort of tools on hand and you can keep that pressure up. Wow, double H into the uh, sword ender. Mm -hmm. that, was that, that, was that, that was that move we were talking about earlier that that uh, that Flack pointed out was so unsafe is that uh, Tails went to go do that in the combo and it and it whiffed and just got absolutely mm, unfortunate. For it. Yep. What? Oh, oh, this nice juggle there. Oh, go burst out of the combo here. Uh, so Thello's sitting on game point here. So dangerous. Gold bar has all the meter in the world. So much meter on deck here. Doesn't even need it though. Oh, it Closes it out with the low. Out. Tails, uh, unfortunately, not able to clutch it out there against Thello. Thello was able to keep it together and was able to win it over our co-commentator. Well, unfortunate, but big for, uh, big ups to Thello, though, for making it happen. And Thello will get a match going up against Nuclear Cheese here. And I don't believe Thello and Nuclear, Thello and Nuclear Cheese fought last week. They, they have not fought in this tournament just yet, though. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I was like, they, they did fight last week. They were, yeah. that was grand finals last week. Yeah, yeah. So we got a repeat of Grand Finals from last week uh, with Fellow and Nuclear Cheese here. Wait for, we'll wait for Tails to get back into the lobby. Uh, mm -hmm. Give him a second. Uh... Tails is here, so now I get to mute myself. <laughs> okay. That was an incredible set, by the way. Before I do mute myself, <laughs> I want to say that was an amazing set. You played really well. Thank you. I finally got this. I finally got the uh, the auto guard super trade into a combo, which is something I've been trying to do for a while. Oh, nice! <laughs> yeah, that was really cool to see. Uh, it's like I said, uh, first time I'm seeing Anji like that's not like a Mikado footage or some shit like that. So, ah, my apologies if I if I swore too hard on stream. But if it's PG thirteen, we get one of those per every now and again. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> I do love to fucking swear. Well, uh, I don't anyway, know what the stream energy is, but let's get into the match right now. Got so, nuclear cheese pushing uh, Thello into the corner. Now, this is the same grand, grand final, same setup we saw last week. Mm -hmm. uh, nuclear cheese took it over Thello, so let's see if Thello has been able to uh, learn some stuff in the last week. Yeah, nuclear cheese playing playing so strong this tournament, though, so it'll be a tall order for Thello to, to be able to overcome it. Nice catches with the nuke there, though. So this is how something might get started. Able to get this uh, get this zoning game going here. But Soul with so many ways to move around the screen. It seems like it's really hard to zone out. Absolutely. Uh, oh, Run nuclear here. fireball to catch is the, uh, the counter. But the counter beats the super. Counter beats the super. I love it. Nice. Just raw Michael Sword read there. Love it. Absolutely. 
Michael Sword is a big butt and hard to deal with. Yeah, I mean, that's just, that's just this thing, right? Got all these uh, big old buttons that just cover a lot of the screen. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, Sidewinder, though, takes it and closes Sidewinder it out there. Kill, and Nuclear Tease takes the first round of the set. Let's see if uh, Fellow can bring it back. I would at least like to see the bracket reset, because, uh, hey, everyone wants to see more Guilty Gear, right? Right, right. We'll have to see how it goes, though. We've still got a long way to go. I say realizing it's 10.30 and other people have jobs they need to get to tomorrow. Luckily, I have tomorrow off. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, I'm central time, so I'm, I'm, I'm living a little little more carefree there. But Fair I, got, I got some food waiting on deck, though, so I'm, I do want to get to that. But for now, though, we got this match going on. So we got a good chunk of meter on both sides here. Neither side has burst available. So oh, whenever the Sidewinder, 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 and the... Oh, it doesn't quite finish the combo. And it's going to put it though just after that after that combo drop going right back into it. Unfortunately, now she's mentioned that he's been uh that he's been practicing sidewinder loops on justice thanks to uh last week. So oh wow, we are now seeing uh <laughs> seeing that. Come That's the here. ultimate compliment. Just to jump in for a quick second, when you when force your opponent who beat you to go back to the lab to work on loops, <laughs> <laughs> right? All right, that's, that's nuclear cheese. That, that's nuclear cheese with the uh, first game there. So nuclear cheese needs to get two more, and Thello needs to get three games to try to reset the bracket to even get access to the grand finals. So we'll see how this goes. We got those nukes on deck here. Ooh, there's a not able to get any kind of distance maintained with them though. Just have to ooh, get pushed back here. Tries to move in there. Nuclear Cheese is doing a great job here of just minimizing the space in between though. Because like this is the classic zoner and uh, rush down rush situation. Down dynamic, yeah. Yeah, like, okay, cool, I'll eat all these little bits. They don't really matter that much so long as I can get in and get my pressure started because then I need, like, maybe three, four sequences to close out what took you, like, And boom, minutes. headshot. Oh, but he misses the second one. All right. Trying to get up and over the nukes, able to do so. Not able to continue continue the damage after that, but just, tr just keeping that... Closing that gap there. There's so Ooh, much help that nuclear cheese is going to sacrifice. Great throw. Oh, but he whisked the... With the uh, Volcanic Viper. And Ooh, that was a sizable life lead here, but just one or two hits from Nuclear Cheese, and there we go. Is this... Oh, but drops the combo. It's the other side, Boom though. Boom headshot. Has the Boom headshot. Ooh, oh, but he drops the third one, but there's the 5D, and this will kill. And so much meter was still available there as well. Nuclear Cheese could have tried to find whether use that for a way to get in, or use that to try to dead angle somebody off... Dead angle fellow off... Get, try to continue a combo. So many options with all that meter on deck. That's yeah. one thing I really like about this game is that the way the meter system works, it just gives you so much flexibility with how you can. Yeah, they give you so many, so many tools to deal with all the bullshit that characters can do in this game. Right. Oh, and there's a counter to beat the run up DP. You know, sometimes you do the run up DP, and sometimes your run up DP eats a counter stance. That's that's fighting games. That is fighting games. <laughs> and there's the <laughs> bandit bringer. Oh, counters the jump on to do sizable damage. All and right. it looks like Fello has has adjusted uh, since since last week, not dropping any of those air combos on Soul now. Yeah, Ooh, now Nuclear Cheese hit that. Viper. Oh, but jump to, the round win. Yeah, able to close it out with the air to air there. I think that was the what the, the, the fork normal that Justice has, like two yeah, jump JK. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I know it. I'm learning I'm learning stuff. <laughs> I, didn't, I, I didn't know that last week, but I know it this week. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, gets that gets side that sidewinder. Side and there's oh. the knockdown. Does half justice as wow cross oh, that, the force that, break sidewinder, which always clean hits. That dash back in the air to, to then use the force break sidewinder to convert to stabilize the combo, that was so sick. <laughs> uh, oh. with the air to air exchange there, not able to turn it into a conversion, gets knocked full screen from the justice normal. There's the laser oh, patches for a all super. But, for a uh, nice bit of damage. Whole uh, stick of butter. Unfortunately, that super gives your opponent a full stick of butter. Nice. Oh, most players went away. And the Tyrant Ray for the kill. Nuclear Cheese up 2-0 against Thello. 2-0 against Thello. Did we have a bracket reset last week? Uh, I do not believe we did. Nuclear done. Cheese hasn't dropped a set in two weeks. What is this? <laughs> I think I'd have to take a I'd have to take a double a double look see too, but uh Teddy Teddy was the Teddy's so far been the only person in bracket to hand 
uh, cheese and L in a game, so... Hmm. Yo, Teddy, big ups to you for doing that. Good job, Teddy. Oh, yeah, I didn't do that. Bomber. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, I'm sorry. I, I mean, I mean, <laughs> as, totally... we, as we have stated, <laughs> it's been made very clear that Cheese, n noticing any sort of imperfections in his game, is going to go back and do the research. So... <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, and we've got the Sidewinder. Boom headshot. Boom headshot. And get the knockdown. Switch into the corner here. Is there going to be any kind of escape attempt here? No, you get air spooked instead. Yo, more of these dash back, uh, or air dashbacks from Nuclear Cheese. I'm not sure if that was oh. happening earlier, and I just didn't notice. The tyrant Rave, because Justice tries to punish. Again, punishing Tyrant Rave really hard. You usually have to block the first hit and try to punish for what's second. Run up and DP through the nuke? Nuclear Cheese is one round away from taking this Grand Finals 3-0. That was so sick there. Just run up Volcanic Viper through the nuke. The... Gutsy, oh. gutsy. Counters the Bandit Bringer, and this is going to do a nice chunk of damage. This is what we want to see. Yo, let's go, fellow. I want to see something get rolling here. Yeah, bait that Volcanic Viper. Not a huge punish, but eats the burst. Ooh, fellow sitting nice. on a huge life lead. Has Got fellow finally downloaded Cheese? Ooh, cheese has a cheese has a lot of bar though. No more bar left on Thello's side. Cashed it out for the dead angle. Cheese does have a, a near a full stick though, so has ways to maneuver around this. There's Grand Viper with the Roman cancel afterwards. Uses Thello. the burst Thello does just to disrupt the momentum, not to give up anything at all. An expense an expensive win for Thello, but a win nonetheless. Thello yeah, puts it, up on the board. Yeah, Thello, Thello gets around here. Gonna be uh, very low on burst though. This is this is gonna hurt. As Justice is now in the corner and has to deal with soul pressure. Yeah, this is so hard to fight out of two when you got no resources on deck. Don't have burst to disrupt the momentum. Don't have any meter to try to dead angle. Does Gets have that back uh, DP though. But Justice is real low on health now, and Soul just needs one more round to take this entire event. Oh no, there's no more burst left, and there's full bar on nuclear Super cheese. Hit, and Justice is gone. Because there's nukes on screen. If Dell can make this happen, this will be an amazing comeback. This is an extremely tall order, though. Burst is available now, so so long as it doesn't go down in one hit, might be able to burst and oh, make something happen. Ride stamp, it drops the combo. Getting nukes. Cheese's health is low. Oh? We Burst off. off. This fellow got no... Oh, Volcanic Viper closes it. Cheese is your winner for the second week in a row. Nuclear Cheese sitting on top of the mountain, doing extremely well and able to defeat fellow and go through this entire bracket without dropping a set, and as far as we know, only lost maybe a, a tiny portion of their games. But Nuclear Cheese is your winner. Whew. Guilty Gear's pretty cool. I like this. It's a great <laughs> game. I'm, I'm glad. I would like to say thank you, for every, thank you everybody for tuning in. Uh, so well, thank you for, for jumping in on commentary. It's been an absolute delight to have you. Uh, it's always good to see new people in the scene and everything. Um, and, and I, again, I, like I said earlier, I would never have guessed it was your, was your first time doing commentary for this game. So it's been a pleasure to work with you. It's been a pleasure, uh, Tails, as always. Well, thank you very much. It was a delight to be here. And, uh, yeah, thank you for having me. And Tails, it was great to commentate with you. Everyone. Absolutely. Great to commentate with you. Yeah. Uh, play Guilty Gear. Guilty Gear? <laughs> yeah, play. You know, do you know where you should play Guilty Gear, actually? As a matter of fact, you should sign up for Boston Blue Beat Neo and play Guilty Gear at that for money. For free. Yeah. What? Going down December 18th through yep. 20th. Yep. So, you know, if you got some PTO you ain't cashed out yet or you're visiting the family for the holidays, you got rollback now, you can enter this tournament from just about anywhere. Yep. Uh, is this tournament open to all of North America or? Uh, the Plus R tournament is uh, currently open. There is a, there's a map uh, on the challenge, but I think we are, we are, we are defaulting to having it open uh, for pretty much everybody um, on the Midwest East, uh, including some West Coast people. We'll want to test your connection. Um, if it's okay, just to be safe, when you go to sign up, there's a link to the Discord um and one of the tos uh will reach out to you um to do a quick little connection test make sure everything is okay if you're not sure if you know if you want to enter just let us know you know and you're not from you're not from like midwest eastward just let us know we'll run a quick connection test with you the rollback on this game again is great i would huge thank you uh to the dev team and, and everybody who's put time into this um and we'd love to run a connection test with you to make sure it works. And, you know, it's such as the kind of case with netcode. Uh, we've had cases where, you know, I've played people from California with, you know, three frames, played people from California with seven frames. You never really know what's going to happen. So uh, 
but we would love to see as many of y'all in there as possible. Um, it's gonna be it's gonna be a really great event. I'm really excited. And I'm really grateful to uh, to Ted Othantis, uh, everyone else in the New England fighting game community who's been working on organizing this. Uh, well, hell, hell yeah, I say. Yeah. yeah. Um, so uh, we would love to see you all there. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in tonight, folks. Um, and uh, we will be back here, uh, same bat time, same bat channel next week. Uh, still running Guilty Gear uh, Accent Core Plus R on the PC. And until then, uh, be good to each other. Uh, keep it spicy. And uh, yeah. Uh, Swell, uh, Tails, where can people uh, find you on the socials if you want them to find you on the socials? Uh, on Twitter, I'm at SwellGGs. Uh, feel free to give me a follow there. I tweet about fighting games and gay shit. Love uh, it. I'm just double checking my Twitter. Uh, I am at Tales of Dawn on uh, 24 on Twitter, and uh, I also tweet about gay shit and fighting games. <laughs> hey, thumbs up. Hey. Radical. <laughs> All right. Night, y'all. I got to get to some food here. Thank you so much for having me. Good night, y'all. All right. Everybody, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, take care. We'll see you next week.